You guys give me if I kill that bird. Barbara, that's a bald eagle. Get away, baldy! Yeah! As the music's going on, this is the word with Mike at Pete, GovsRadio.com. We are live here at Fifth Hammer Brewing Company in LIC. Uh, we are broadcasting live from their brew room here. If you take a look around on YouTube, uh, which we are streaming live on right now, you can take a look at everything behind us, some new uh, fodders. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got you, God. Feeders. Feed it. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, I, let's I, get, let's I, get someone who knows what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. We've what got Jake from, uh, from Finback. Jake, you're here with us. Thanks for coming down, yeah, man. Yeah, that was, thanks, uh, man. Good to be here. I, I, honestly, we saw in the email. This is uh, going to piss me off. Um, we saw in the email that there would be a couple of guests, but I didn't anticipate uh, one of, one of not only, but one of my favorite breweries in uh Ridgewood or area, or kind of right outside of Ridgewood, right? Yeah, we claim Glendale. Glendale, Glendale, okay. Queens? Queens? Yeah, Queens. Yeah. Dude, oh, it's dude. Still, dude uh, wait, wait till you see if Nicky Nux comes by, oh. he's going to lose his shit that Jake's here. Cause wow. he's, do you know this guy named Nick, Nicky Knuckles? No, no, no. Uh, you'll know him when you walk in. He's, he's an unforbe- for unforgettable character. You'll be drinking for free tonight, Jake. All right? <laughs> Nicky <laughs> Knuckles will be dry, buying you drinks all night. And Nicky's the, right. the bomb. So, anyway, so Nick uh, lo- loves him back. He's there all the time. Grabs the stuff, trades us for the show. We bring it on the show a lot. So thanks a lot for joining us down. Also, thanks. behind us and on mic right now, Mart Ansh- uh, Mart. Matt. Matt. Ar- I didn't even drink yet. Mart Ansh- <laughs> Matt. Oh, Ar- 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 uh, Is on the show with us. He's the one that set this all up. So thank you very much, Matt, for uh, thank you so much. hooking yeah. us up with this hookup. This is uh, beautiful, even on a 100-degree day. He uh, hooked up with fans, and uh, you look sweatier than any of us, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. In about Maybe. 20 minutes, I'm going to look like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Trust me. You, you, know, you, you know naturally what? sweat in 60-degree weather. If I get in a five-minute <laughs> dissertation or something like that, I'm going to be walking out. These people going to be like, look at this fat guy sweating like a pig. Jesus. <laughs> and that is the voice of Anthony Grazzi today, host of the Limbo Talk podcast on GovsRadio.com. Uh, he is uh, here with us. Oh, he's on Instagram Live, too, hanging out. Say uh, hi, guys. What up? Pete. And then uh, over here, I, I know you can't see, but Kern, Kern from Black and Tan Kern. TV. Kern. Kern. He's not a plant. Kern. Kern. Oh, I call him Fern. No, I'm sorry. Fern. Kern. And, Kern. of course, my co-host, Pete. Kern the Fern. Can we, can we get through uh, sponsorships really quick? I'll just, quick. I'm going to mention them. I'm not even going to go through the whole thing. Uh, shirts on tap, mybomberjackets.com, Brewers Hardware, taphandles.com, and, uh, of Heart course, World Heart World Woodshop, who's putting together some really cool stuff for us along the way. And Fifth Time um, Brewery. And, well, I'm getting to that. All right. I, I'm so- <laughs> Don't make me push the button. You jerk. I'm going to push the button. All right. I'll keep quiet. Right, no, no. I'm just kidding. Dude, it's the heat. Uh, it is the heat. Oh, my God. This place uh, is great, by the way. I just want to let you know. Yeah. It, it's a beautiful spot. So let's talk about, um, very quickly, 
how this came to be. So Matt came on the show when we had, uh, who was on the show with us that night? Po' Boy? Oh, it was Po' Boy, correct, yes. And, uh, you know, dropped a whole bunch of knowledge and uh, at the end of the show invited us to come down and, and do a little uh, really live fits. show. And we jumped at that. If you're going to take a look at one of our past episodes, yeah. really great discussion about the industry that night. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just all about uh, the beer and the, uh, the, the behind the scenes and the business part, which is really cool because we talk to a lot of brewers and we get a lot of the information about you know how the, the brewing process happens. Beer, beer. But the business part really actually came into play. And then you and Bobby uh, from Po' Boy really played off each other very well. So it was a great show. I appreciate you coming down and setting this all up. We'll get you on mic a little later. And, uh, yeah, I'll move away. No, at no, one, no. At hey. one point, I'll go, I'm going to stand. Yeah. Once people start seeing me, you know, they're like, why is this fat guy on Who's here? this guy? Who's this guy? If I stand too quick today, I'm going to fucking pass out. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> keep, keep hydrating. We've already uh, sampled a bunch of beer. stuff. <laughs> yes, we've already sampled a bunch of stuff uh, that he's had on the menu, and uh, we've gone through some stuff. So this is uh, a very cool uh, concept. And we haven't been here. This is our first trip to... New York City, quote unquote. Yes. I mean, I consider uh, the city Manhattan, but this is our first podcast from the uh, outer boroughs. From the outer, well, from the inner boroughs. Outer boroughs. Well, inner boroughs. The boroughs. boroughs. Greater metropolitan well, area. Sure, Thank I like you. that. Yes, <laughs> that's a better, better term. For What's that. his name, Lou? I'm sorry, Jake, Jake from Jake. State Farm. Yeah, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. No, from Finback. Right. Jake, Jake from, from State Farm. <laughs> Jake from what State you, Farm and Finback. Yes. I um I got a she car service serious. over here in Long Island City, so I've been coming here for 25 years. My office was up the block, so yeah. this is like my stopping grounds. So oh, I yeah. want them to start coming here and doing live broadcasts in Queens. Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know how close it was. I would have shut down the car service, told all the employees to come here and start drinking for the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would have been an idea. We could add a party. Right, we can, yeah, we can throw a party. Awesome. They can't drink on the clock. I, no, I want to throw well, a party here. You I, do. I, I want to throw a dispatch <laughs> party here. <laughs> Dis you, would you transport them all in the limos? Yes, yes. He's got, he, he's, got a a bang bus. Bang bus. he's got a bang bus. He's got a bang bus. It's like a mini bus that just uh, you take a black light to it. It's going to be a. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, I have so a 21 passenger one bus. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can put this in. Look at this. The Long Island City Brewery, Brewery Trail. Yes. Which has uh, Big Alice yep. Brewing, yep. Fifth Hammer Brewing, yep. Rockaway Brewing, mm -hmm. uh, Pulaski, the Pulaski Bridge to the right. Sorry. <laughs> Icon, <laughs> Icon NYC, yep. and uh, what's uh, Alley Wife? Alley Wife. Oh, Alley Wife. Oh, looks, I'm yes, sorry. He loves Alley Wife. Alley Wife. Wife. Yes. Alley Wife. Brew Company. Allie. Is that like his, his, his ex wife or something like yeah. that? I have one of those. No, yeah. <laughs> but she's not here. She's, she's in uh, Northport, <laughs> another place you're not allowed to visit. Thanks. So anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is our first time here in New York City. So we're, uh, we're really excited to kind of uh, uh, break the hymen. Is that the branch out? Branch is, 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 is <laughs> yeah. term I, I went really, really deep. I'm sorry. <laughs> like that's that, that, that's like wow. you say after hey, you very you aggressive. Too. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I got a few yeah, of my uh, my draw today. Too deep. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we, this is the first time here, and, and we're, uh, we're we're digging it. And I I've been to Brooklyn Queens uh, so much in my life, and been to a lot of the great breweries here, but never to this one. And this is a uh, great experience. We came in in here with nobody here, and now the taste room's packed. If you can hear the. Uh, the crowd in the background and the, the glasses clinking and the beers flowing. There's a couple um, of dogs around too. Yeah, one, the dogs. Yeah, one of the dogs. The little the white bouger later. one almost bit the big uh, black. Uh, oh, you were there when it was. Oh, there? that was, that was great. Really oh, She's right. like, "Don't touch me." <laughs> <laughs> Get away. Get away. Uh, I'm drinking she, fifth she's hammer. Very bougie. Very bougie. She was very bougie. bougie. And she's beautiful. Is she? Yeah. No, look at I, her. You I can only see her right I, there. I that's a beautiful oh, yeah, looking yeah, right. dog. Well groomed. I'm gonna go well over there groomed. and talk. If you got a mic, we should get her on the air and find out the why dog. They, yeah, why they were fighting. Well, I got a 50 footer, <laughs> and we can have you go into the taste room and ask people questions. Oh my god, that, that's a great. Segment. If, if Matt will allow <laughs> it, Matt, do you allow it? Will you allow yeah, it? Yeah, you sure. Think like before you say go yes. No, no, that's, 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 that's a good one. Get away from my girlfriend. I got a fat 50, boy. So it's just we'll do little stand up interviews. We won't have it on camera, but we'll have it on audio. So it should be good for the podcast. Drunken guy in the street. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you enjoying yourself? Why are you talking to me, old man? Get yeah. away from me. You're on the other end of the bar, dummy. <laughs> it's only 50 feet, so you're not going to get too far down there, but you'll get down there. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we, we've kind of cracked our uh, and, and branched out from our Long Island roots. Uh, and, you know, Kern and Jay came on the show and talked a lot about the breweries here. I know you work. We were talking to you about working a block away. So I'll put you on later, but. Uh, you know, th there's a lot of hype here in, in the Queens and Brooklyn area and the amount of breweries that are here. Jake, uh, while we have you here, 
and so we don't waste all of your time. And I, <laughs> by the way, I love the Kohi shirt. Um, I'll put some, I'll put that one of the albums on. Is he the brewmaster, uh, 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 Michael? Give me. Well, let's find out. I was going to say. Uh, so, I'll Jake, what's your, what's your role <laughs> over at Finback? And uh, you know, give us a little brief history on how you became part of that uh, group over there. Yeah. So right now I'm doing. Um, yeah, I guess mostly uh, cellar work, packaging, and then uh, brewing as well. Okay. Kind of getting into the the brew side. I came in green as a uh, fresh cut lawn. And nothing. So no no experience. Kinda, no nothing. Bold yeah, down no, to a bowl, really. huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <sir>. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I've been um, working in craft beer, kind of pouring, serving at bars and stuff okay. for years and years, and I don't know, ready to ready to get my hands dirty. Nice. You know, nice. about six, seven, eight months ago, something mm-hmm. like that. So. Yeah, you've been on, contributing to the the board. lineup that they're constantly putting out, and yeah. uh, what's one of the it's the favorites that are, I know Cranking the can beer, lineups man. are ridiculous. You guys, I looked at the shelf uh, two weeks ago on online. I you know I don't get in there that often. It's like ten beers in cans ready to go. I'm like, what? At least. That's crazy. At that least. is a crazy amount of beer to go. Yeah, and is that where most of the business comes from? Are you doing a lot of the distribution, like independent distribution, uh, or are you doing a lot more like? you know, buying cans through the tasting room or how's it working over there? There is a lot. I mean, I don't know the exact numbers and the exact proportions of everything, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're shipping beer all across, all around, you know, like huge pallets of yeah things, cans going up to Massachusetts. We do a lot. Really? Um, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a pretty, lot of for, for a lot of local breweries up to Massachusetts is actually pretty far distribution wise. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah. There's we've got a couple good distributors too. Yeah. So. Nice. Kind of depends on that if you can find of somebody course. reliable and good and and a good uh, connection and someone that communicates well and lets you know what's selling, what's not, and that way you know where to kind of direct your attention to. Yeah, you and, need a, distri- yeah, yeah. a distribution bus, twenty-one passenger. We could throw some, <laughs> so we could throw some kegs bus. on there and uh, bring it out to Long Island. You well, that's a good question. That? Are you doing a lot of keg distribution up there? Are you doing mostly can? Uh, it's 50-50. It's totally a oh, mixed okay. bag. Right. Yeah, it just depends on what they want and what they're selling and the right. bars up there. Where's you know? the furthest that you go? Furthest that we go? Well, like in regular distribution or just yeah. in yeah, general? Yeah. In oh, general. Man. Because they're independent, so they, they don't, you don't have a contract with any distribution company, right? You're not under Manhattan or Empire or 12% or anything like that? Not as far as um, New York City deliveries. Obviously, you leave... Uh, the greater metropolitan area and you, and you start having to do distributors yeah. and i don't know we just don't have so we'll do a bootleg on my bus either. we'll find a bar that wants uh, your bootleg. place and, that, that, and we'll just bootleg it over there and you're gonna you're, you're gonna find yourself pulled over by a massachusetts state policeman going what is all hey, the, where is all this a, beer going <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing just figuring yeah. long island and i get it yeah. Yeah. You, know? well, you were saying you want distribution. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to get a keg and yeah, uh, get a couple of kegs. Yeah, I, like I want to go. I want to bring a keg to the uh, place uh, Third Rail. Yes, or, well, we have to talk about that. Or the I library. Guess, I got something for you today. I spoke to Mike. The yeah. library. He says he's waiting. The library will do it. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we got some uh, some restaurants and um, bars that we are becoming friends with. Anthony has a few friends. We got a couple of people. So yeah. uh, new bottle shop opened up in Deer Park. That hopscotch. Yeah, we're they expanding. Just got, oh, we're, cool. Yeah, we like hops. That guy's great. Yeah, he really. I works. gotta tell you, awesome. Charlie between 1940s Charlie. Yeah. Hopscotch. Mark. Mark. Yep. This guy Matt. Long Island. Long Island. We made uh, some Bobby a barrier, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Bobby. You, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Jake, Jake from uh, yeah, State Farm, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and Glendale, we're almost Long Island, yeah, right? right there. <laughs> I, I have to say, it. I'm, I'm, I know I, you know, you guys got a great thing going. I'm so proud of you, Michael, and you. Pete. Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, oh, I think about Jake. Jake. I'm like Jake. Too. The freaking Finbacks are awesome. Yeah, Finbacks right. good too. I, well, I haven't had it yet. You, can, right. you bring any beer, uh, Finback, with you today? No, I no, didn't enough on this stuff. You jump in my car on the way home. We'll go to Finback. We'll have a drink and then I'll drive you. Sit in the hey, back, you can put the limo talk stuff on. That'd yeah. be great. That's right. Um, so what do you guys have planned uh, at the brewery? Do you have any expansion plans? you guys open up uh, some areas? Or what's the, what's the new thing going on yeah, in the actually, business? Yeah, uh, actually, Finback Brooklyn's going to be nice. opening up sometime. How about that? Yeah. Mm, so you're coming in this fall. way. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what what town are you looking in? What, uh, a little down. Um, it's going to be in the Gowanus area. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so kind of right around area. there. Up yeah, and coming almost. Three what, what's the rope, beer? You know? I was gonna. That, that's the only one I know that's in Gowan. It's a strong rope. What's yes. what's the uh, the community yeah. like over there, brewery wise? It's good. I mean, uh, yeah, strong rope is really 
one of those guys that yeah they're they're cool threes is not too threes far from there, there yeah. as well um, let's see there's another one over there uh, Brain? Are they in Brooklyn? No. Uh, I'm terrible at this. They Wasn't are, it? but up like Bushwick. Okay. Yeah. Kind of up on Metro. It's over so. by the Barclays. Yeah. Yeah. How far walk, if you're going to a, like a show at the Barclays, would it take you to get over there? Ooh. I got car service maybe. over there now. Do you? I just right. got a contract with Barclays Center. With yeah. Uber? So nice. with, get well, out of here. no, yeah, we, we just. Do, with Uber. Execu <laughs> executive show with Uber, you dick. Yeah, exactly. I'm I knew trying, that was I'm trying to put them out of business, dumbass. It's not going to happen. I'm like a little puddle compared to them. No, um, uh, the Barclays Center executive charge or limo is part of the vi uh, vital is part of that whole yeah, consortium. Vitalism. So vital transportation, we have a contract there now where we can take people from the Barclays Center yeah. anywhere. Nice. So nice. it's a you got, Brooklyn. So what what, what 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 maybe you could do is, is talking to, to Mike is get me a list of the bars that are in that area, all yeah. is, and I could give it to the guys in dispatch and say, hey, listen, or set something up like this where you have a brewery trail in that area. Now because are they, there's a couple of like you said threes. You got uh, is that a, a, is that a, is that a, a limo show at the Barclays put, better is to get shit faced. At a bunch of breweries. No, it's just walking. Can yeah. I have that? Yeah, yeah you guys. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think. See, I personally think that across the street from Belmont Racetrack. Okay. The right Ray now, the right. Islanders are within three years is going to be a hot spot, and I think a yeah. brewery over there is like you know Rehoboth. Yeah. Remember Rehoboth? Yeah. Who's over in Rehoboth? That um, dogfish. Dogfish. Yeah. Place is packed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's always back. Put now. a brewery it's, it's, across the street from uh, Uniondale from the New Island estate. They, they might put one in there, but then put another one across the street. I guarantee you, there's nothing in Elmont. There's nothing in Valley Stream. No, right? it really isn't. Nothing. nothing I mean, a couple of good beer bars, though, too, would do well as well. So they'd be distributing to those areas. Here's a shout out to Croxley Ales. Yeah. That girl over there knows Chris Worley, who owns who owns Crox oh, yeah, yeah, we know Who owns yeah. Crox Croxley Ales. Yeah. All right? And Water Zero. Chris. Opened up, opened up Piccadilly Circus with his buddy Chris. Jesus, Piccadilly. With Chris, with a ten thousand dollar credit card that they got a cash advance on. Okay. And now they're millionaires. Right. They own all that stuff. They own all of the three cr three crosses. So that's why I'm saying the we. Town, right. I want to put a bar over across Franklin the street Square from Belmont. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. A small that's spot. Not a bad idea. All right, Finback, we're going to we're going to Belmont. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, they're already setting up in Pro. Don't worry, we're going to we'll Belmont too, day. Jake there from State Basil, Farm. are you listening? Do you guys uh, do you guys operate on the farm license, and that allows you to do those uh, multiple locations, or is it uh, something a little more complex than that when you're in the city limits? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, no, I do uh, believe we do definitely have a farm license. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. How, like on a on a the, the scale you're brewing, just volume wise, how does that work with like ingredients? I got to feel like that's got to be tough to keep up with. Or do you guys have multiple licenses? Um, yeah. Yeah, we definitely import, you know, a lot of malt that's not sure. New York stuff. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to be a New York brewery to have a farm license. You can still kind of can get malt from other places. Of so. course. Right. Yeah. And, um, yeah, because we do do a lot of volume. A lot, a lot, a lot. I would lot, think that would be volume. cost prohibitive. And, and just trying to find the, the, amount of, the amount of ingredients you need, I would think that would be... Difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well then. Yeah, so that's why uh, we don't really. Yeah, man. A lot of, um, yeah, I don't know, a lot of stuff from different different folks, Simpsons, uh, BSG, Country Malt. And what's been your favorite, yeah. um, you, the brew that you guys made to this date uh, that you've kind of contributed Yeah, what have you to? made in the past six months that you think this is the most, this is what I'm proud of most? Oh, man. Or most interesting? Let's see. I mean... You know, the, the, the IPAs are definitely big. You know, everybody's talking sure. about the IPAs, and I think we do them very, like, they're, they're hazy, juicy, but dry at the same time, you know? Right. It's not just, like, a sweet mess. Like, <laughs> sometimes you get, you know, and you try to pump out a lot of beer really quick, and I don't know, that's me personally. I am very have a very dry and bitter palate, which, <laughs> like, I, you know, I'm drinking this 4% amber ale right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm real. <laughs> you do, yeah. That, that was on a hot yeah. day. You made a choice. That was, uh, which one was, uh, which one did you get? <laughs> this was actually uh, not a fifth oh, hammer. This yes, is that's a right. Gift. That's the that's ah, the yard. This is a yeah. gift. Yeah, what is that? brawler. The brawler from uh, where yard. Is that? Yes, where is yard. that? You, you drank it all? Not on Philly. Top. No, 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 no. You got any more left? Stopped by no, Fifth they, Hammer the other beer, day and dropped off the case. Great. I gotta tell you, it smells great in this place. Are you being sarcastic, or is that? Can I climb? That, if I climb that thing and take <laughs> like, a picture, like Godzilla, right? <laughs> like, like King, King Kong, Kong climbing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, fucking middle-aged King Kong going up there. I you can't get up hot now. Instead of a hot chick, he's going to grab one of those dogs. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long has Finn back been in business? Uh, just over five years. How long have you been with him now? Six, eight months. Okay. Uh, so you're yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, getting started. Getting and yeah, how, how would good, you though. rate your experience so far? I mean, is it like a really cool vibe over there? Or what's the... Uh, Hell yeah, what's, what's 100%. The feeling? Yeah? 100%. It's a great team. Everybody uh, everybody helps out. You know, it's everybody kind of does this, does that, you know, does whatever we need to do. What and is your job Just there? make a project. What? Yeah, what does a cellarman do? Cellarman mostly, you're just... Feed the cats. No. <laughs> Feed the cats. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we don't have cats. We're too <laughs> worried that it's going to get run over by Make a sure dog or something. You know? I mean, in my book, that's okay, but I'm, I'm a dog person. So. No, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Come on, man. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, just cleaning stuff, making sure things are nice and orderly. You know, we do a lot of packaging and stuff. Sanitize, uh, sanitize, sanitize. Sanitize. Oh, yeah. Putting those gloves on. You know, hmm. why am I here that all the time from you guys? Yeah, why is that, that so sanitize? Yeah. yeah, why is that such, that, a, such an bacteria, important thing? Because foreign bacteria in beer is generally a bad thing. So, if, when you're at a certain point of the brewing fermentation process, okay. there's a bacteria that could, if you're not done properly, yes. could at all be, times. We're dealing with natural sick. ingredients. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I could be with, drinking yeah, this thing right now, and I could be dropping dead on the sidewalk and tell no, your beer would get infected well, and it would no, taste and not, smell like you would, shit. You would know yeah, it. It's just going to taste real bad. That's it. It's that's not going to kill you. No? no. no. Give, me the, no, no, no. give me the shits. You might have some funny poops. It yeah, might. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But other than that, you'll be fine within a day or so. Yeah. I'm liking you. Maybe we should go to Finback after this. A couple of drinks. Hey, my wife says I told my wife 6 o'clock, I'll make it 8. You know, let's go, man. Let's go. I'll buy you some beers. Let's do it. Finback. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so J- you said you're you're opening. Do you know what the timetable is on opening up the fall. new place? In, oh, you yeah, said I think fall. we're looking sorry, at the I was fall. Too, yeah, yeah I think right. we're looking at the fall. Now you already have the location scouted out, and you know where you're going into. So it's just a matter of setting up. Are you brewing there? Or are you just doing like a bottle shop and and selling, or what's? No, it's big. It's uh, it's going to really? be brewing. We've got a couple other things. I don't know what's public knowledge yet or not, <laughs> but we're going to do some things that are not brewing too. Okay. And kind of get into there. Um, there's definitely there's going to be a kitchen. Okay. Too, so right. ah, there you go. Follow with threes. The, the formula threes put together there is that nice restaurant slash huge ass brewery with nice outdoor outdoor yeah. space as well. Uh no. Okay. No no no. Yeah no outdoor space. Wait, Wait, going to, we going Italian. What, what are we going food wise? Domestic uh, burgers and stuff. I'm saying five bucks as a pretzel. Probably, right? Dumplings. Say. Dumplings. Dumplings. Yeah. Say, look at that. You said specializing in dumplings. You just got Pete going. I did, I did get excited. I think that's a, I was all too excited for the that's dumplings. That's fantastic, today. dumplings. Yeah. I fucking yeah. love so dumplings. So all, like, pa- like all different ones, like Parmesan dumplings, something like, you know what I mean, teriyaki dumplings. A whole yeah. Parmesan dumplings? I mean, it's yeah. Like the wings. Don't you mean, is that like a ravioli? Isn't that no, I know. Yes. <laughs> but, but I'm trying to say, if he's going to if he's gonna specialize in dumplings, they're gonna, maybe they'll do a lot of dumplings. You know, yeah, different sure. flavors. There's definitely not a not a concrete menu as of yet, but yeah. What about concrete dumplings? Creative, <laughs> creative folks over. Get me Finback, drunk enough at so. Finback, I might eat it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'll be dropping concrete <laughs> craps. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have a whole brand new uh, um, industry that's just cleaning up concrete, cr- concrete crap. <laughs> Mike, how do you get such nice equipment here compared to what he we... He steals it from work. This is fantastic. Yeah, I have no idea. you got great equipment here. I'd rather do this than go back to Gov's radio. You what? Got, you no got the nicer mics. That's crazy. I don't want it. You got, the studio I'm kidding, shows I'm are kidding. great. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's because they sanitize so much. They keep yeah. it clean. They keep it nice, you know? Wait, I, well, I hear... I hear... Hold on. You just... Yeah. Hold on. We're going to loop this back. Very weird. Uh, for some reason, it's just not picking up my mic, but it's picking up everybody else's. So come so. over here and give me the phone. No, 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 no. I don't, care. I don't give a crap because it doesn't matter. It, in the end, I'm going to replace the video with a... All oh, right, enough of that. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> Who yeah, wants to hear him yeah. again? <laughs> I looped it again. Sorry. I said I, I'm going to replace the video with the one I do up here anyway. It's just, uh, you know, just, just some people that can take a peek in. And Is that the one that I bought, except this thing that you have here? Is that similar this? to what I bought? I don't know if you bought that. I bought something similar to that, to be honest uh, with you. I'm not sure. It's sitting at the house. you got to teach me how to do off-sites. Okay. 
Me, you, and it's, Pete. It's, yeah, you. Yeah. Limo talk with Pete. What do you think? <laughs> you know, that's... Oh, Buckley's here. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, that is only my mic that you cannot hear. That's what it's saying. Oh, <laughs> Nicky Nux is here, too. All right. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna about to get to be a party here. Yeah, Jake yeah, from State Farm. Oh, from <laughs> it's always gonna be a party here. And Hold especially on. good see, time the, for a break. Where you want to keep going? The gods are towering on us. Break. I need, I need to get off. a beer regardless. Yeah. I think, and I need to figure out why um, my mic has. I was gonna say Pete has better voice anyway. <laughs> Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so. <laughs> Nice. Mark, notice whose mic is not working. Yeah, <laughs> really. It's it's uh, the work with Pete and Grass. That's great. That's bullshit is what it is. Um, all right, listen, we'll take a quick break. Uh, we're going to be right back. This is where we're Mike and Pete. Jake, Jake thanks, thanks for, thanks for, thanks for, for dropping on the air. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Jake, you hanging? Having me. You oh, yeah. Oh, it's right, Sunday. You're always day, baby. You're you're right, all right, it's me and you, baby. We're going to fin back. I'm going to come on beers. That's yeah, crazy. All right? all right? I got to make a stop on the way. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, he just, it's for coke. Wait a second. He just... <laughs> I just got to make a five-minute stop. I'll, yeah, I'll let you know go. later. Oh, you're <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was, uh, All right, this is the word Mike and Pete. Just look over your shoulder when I walk out of the car. Oh, stop it, you. <laughs> just <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Hey, it's the word with Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com. We are live here at Fifth Hammer Brewing Company oh, in on. Long Island oh, City. Yes, I, we on. are going back again. I don't want to have everyone, like, you know, sitting around for too long. No, uh, no, 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 you know, waiting for us. So, just take quick breaks and uh, we'll bust through everybody and then uh, enjoy. Uh, we just opened up the uh, the garage doors Michael, here. You gotta help me here. I'm so we're really. My, my, what's my the headphones? What did you do? What, what you I do? don't know what I did. Oh boy, I think okay. Graz might have broke them. Uh, again, we're here at Fifth Avenue <laughs> Brewing Company. Thanks. Hey, people. look at what it is. Uh, Donnie Baseball's here. All right, so we are broadcasting live with Hammer, and uh, we're going to have a few more guests on in the meantime. Uh, if you're in the area or if you're watching us on YouTube, go to uh, The Wart, W-O-R-T, Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com, or uh, check us out uh, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're all out there. Just type in The Wart, Mike and Pete. Um, and again, one more time, Donnie what's ba- Facebook? Facebook is a <laughs> social media thing. Uh, Why do you I'd do that? be hard to explain it to everybody. <laughs> you need to get a little bit more involved no, socially. No, no, really he Lord, I don't. He so does not want to be involved Why do we call him Donnie Baseball? Oh, so Donnie Baseball over here. This is uh, Don Fierro, one of the uh, men in my wedding. These are three of my best men in my wedding, my groomsmen. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Nicky Nux, come here. Get out of the air for a second. Just watch. I don't know who this is. I think this is All right, don't worry about it, this is Aaron. That's not you. So you three were in his ba- uh, wedding party. Did you go in this bachelor party? Where'd you guys go for his bachelor was it party? Just, yes, it was just us three. Yes. No, it wasn't us three. No, Brian's bachelor party. Oh no, no, I was talking. No, I was talking. You guys were a groomsmen in my my yours. wedding. Yes. yes. You got any secrets? <laughs> um, Glavin, no secrets, no secrets. No. no. Where'd you guys go? Glav, nowhere. We went. Uh, we watched Glavin's <laughs> went three nowhere. game. No, no not thing? at my wedding. He's probably talking about the bachelor. Yeah, yeah, bachelor, bachelor party. Oh, we, saw, we went That's to a comedy it. show. Oh, you guys are boring. We and went to. We had, wait, don't, then, no, don't say a comedy show. Tell them where we went. Oh, we saw Opie and Anthony Road Show. Traveling virus and, oh, tour at Mohican tra- Sun. You went to a traveling yeah. virus. Show. Traveling virus. We got to meet Louis C.K. the next day. I shook shook Louis. Did he jerk off in front of you? No, he did not. Bob Saget Let's was reminisce. There. He must not like you very much. Who were the comedians? Oh yeah. Who were the, the, yeah, yeah. the comedians that performed at the traveling virus show? Uh, that you saw from Bill, Opie and Anthony. And what year was this? Uh, it was two thousand and seven. No, I'd already, I had already gotten kicked out. So it was. Let's see. It was uh, Bill Burr. It was Louis C.K. Um, Jim Norton. Wow. Uh, Patrice O'Neill. Wow. Uh, this is pre death. Yeah. Uh, let's well, see it's good. Else. It was pre-death. Yes, pre-death. <laughs> um, this ah uh, shit. There's so many. Actually. That's a that's a killer a lineup, man. Uh, that was just the that was like the headliners. There was where did you see that at? There's probably like 15 people on where that did tour. You, where did you at Mohican Sun? Wow. Yeah. They figured that's 5,000 seat arena too, right? Yeah, it was packed. We were way up there, but it was a good time. That's great. So we had some uh, pre-game festivities. We had some post-game festivities, and of course, all you know, kind of. Framed up by the, uh, the the tour itself. That's great. It was a good time. We had a great time, and all, the, all those guys. Uh, my buddy Jim, uh, Eric, Gaffigan. Mike. You met Mike Cassiope nope. from Boston. Like he Mike. was in my party as well. We love Mike from uh, Boston. 
Reardon, my buddy Eric Reardon, who's, uh, who's actually in town this weekend. I don't know if maybe I'll see him tonight at some point. Um, he was on the, you know, on the party, and we had a good time. It was, it was good, lots of good, lots of good things happened. Great. All right, uh, let's well, transition. We'll go, great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sitting in with us right now is Aaron from Astoria Beer and Cheese. What's Negative. going on? Negative. Negative. Nope. This is Carly Ooh, from God damn LIC it. Beer. <laughs> You're the one that said I didn't he do got that. it in your head. He, I didn't so do he said cheese, he said he wanted to talk. All right. So anyways, yeah. hi Carly. Sorry. I, I should just looked and said, uh, and you are. Yeah. Carly. Carly. Yes. Uh, hi Carly. Yep. Um, what is Carly? Carly is the beer captain at Uncle Long Island City Beer Project. He said Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, Uncle Beer Project. Yep, that's yeah. the, the newest that's brewery. That's fantastic. All the uncles getting yes. together. Yes. <laughs> um, very creepy, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in their communion dresses. It's just it's it's, so it's, weird. It's so, so weird. weird. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had something to See? say, but I'm gonna. I know you. Yeah, I, I, please do. No, please don't do it. My uncle. What, is, what, my what uncle is a beer captain? Beer captain. Yeah. What is a beer captain? I'm still asking myself that. I think. So what's your daily responsibilities? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I, I am essentially a head bartender. Okay. Um, that does look good on a business card, though. Beer right? captain, right? Yeah, yeah. I think my, it's intriguing. my my two employees last night called me Tap Cap. I like that a lot. Yeah. Tap yeah. Captain is also a yeah. great it. sound. Yeah, I like yeah. That. That's a good one. Yeah, I just I take on responsibilities when I'm there okay. as the head bartender if, I, if there are other employees around. Um, yeah. Making scheduling, stuff like that? Things like that, yeah. yeah. yeah essentially. Good. You ordered a beer and everything else? We make the beer. You make the beer. <laughs> <laughs> you order the beer. <laughs> yes, they just turn around, they look in the back, and they go, and this is it. Yeah, this bring is it this way more, really quick. More of this and more of this. Yes. <laughs> more lagers. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are now uh, aware of Michelle. Michelle uh, recently joined the crew. Michelle she did? the brew babe. Oh, yeah. I did not know. I did not know. Well, so we've been hearing. We've been hearing good stuff. Nice. Um, she is also now out trying to venture into the cider world as well. So she's trying yeah, to get right. a little bit of everything yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and make her way through. Cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about the brewery. Tell us uh, location, hours of operation. Give us the rundown. Yeah, we're uh, 3928 23rd Street in Long Island City. Uh, we are open seven days a week. Uh, part of this little uh, LIC brewery trail. We are part of the brewery, brewery trail. trail. Super stoked. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, thanks to Matt for that. That was so he put this all together? And he put that yeah, all I gotta together. I got to talk to this guy. This guy does everything. It. He's crazy. Gave out so many. He is crazy. She's friends with an old friend of mine. I know. Okay, we I, go way so back. How, wait, I want to first know how you even came to that realization. She said she used to borrow. Well, she goes, where are you from? I'm from uh, New York. Well, I identified accent. an accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah there she you goes, go. She goes, where are you, you from? You Sharp here. Yeah. Yeah. The Bronx? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you, from Sweden? So I said, no, I'm from Long Island. She goes, oh, me too. I'm from Oceanside. I said, I'm from Franklin Square. She goes, oh, I used to know uh, Croxley Ales. I worked for Croxley's for five I'll, I'll years. Tell you, five years, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you a funny story about Croxley's. I just repeat myself. He bought Piccadilly Circus with his partner on a $10,000 credit card with a cash advance. Yeah, sounds good. And then right. and they became a millionaire. Those guys are cash cows. It's oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah it's they are. It's crazy. That was our, we did our first road show at a Croxley's in, no uh, in Farmingdale. Yeah. Farmingdale, yeah. Farmingdale? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I remember craft when craft that beer, yeah. opened, and that was a venue before. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The downtown. Yeah, the downtown. Yes, the downtown. It was the downtown. Yeah. I, I was his Ooh, catcher. More beer. Are you yeah. guys from the island, too? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm from Farmingdale. Oh, nice. And I'm from Lindhurst. Got it. Grew up in Amityville, the hard streets of Amityville, but, you know. Yeah. I, I made my way to our house, two, yeah. two towns over, and just, you know, kind of kept it cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, psh. For what? <laughs> oh, draft, draft deck? Draft deck. Oh, okay. No, no, Let's no, hear about draft, draft tech. tech. Draft yeah. tech, Oh, tech. I most recently uh, did the micromatic training in Pennsylvania. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So I just helped my resume more so. <laughs> I was like, what's the next thing? Yeah, no, uh, super stoked about that. I'm cleaning right. lines as well uh, okay. as, like, a side gig. Cool. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, not with Micromatic but, or Draft Choice, but with another guy, just a solo gig. Right, um, right. Yeah, it's awesome. That's when beer line's very important. Yeah, oh, dude, agreed. Right. Sanitation. Oh, yes. Uh, sanitizing. <laughs> sanitizing. <laughs> Clean them up. Clean them up. <laughs> yeah, we don't do them enough around here, I mean, honestly, because they have they have laws in Pennsylvania where you have to clean them every yeah. 14 two, days. I was say that's great. Days, yeah. yeah, I think it's great. That's cool. I don't know how they monitor that, but yeah. They're I'm sure they true. spot check or something would, like that, but so, yeah. or they have the tags, you know, like parking. Mm. They do the chalk on the on the car. A little, a little mark. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah, they yeah. know. Oh, the color green is four weeks old. There's yep. no way. <laughs> yeah. Well. Now, were you guys uh, busy last night? We were busy during the day. Yeah. I got slammed. I we were short a bartender, and I opened. Uh, I had people walk in five minutes to opening. 
uh, I think it was just hot and people were looking to come in. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we were super busy for the first couple hours and then it died out at night. I don't know. I think people were just wrapping it up. You know, it and it was, really was one hot. of those, this is one of those weekends where you would expect not as many people. They all, everyone would go run to the shore somewhere or yeah. stay inside. 100%. There's, it's quiet. And it's, it's quiet. It's packed well, it's out here, here today. today. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's all going to be 100 degrees out here today and everyone's it coming out. It is 100 degrees. <laughs> it, you know, it is <laughs> yes. 100 degrees. I'm sweating in every single crack every in my body right now. <laughs> I don't, yeah. my I don't boot, want to picture my that boot, My boot all. fat's got sweat dripping right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> um, give us a little rundown about the brewery. Uh, wh- what do you think? I mean, I know you're not the brewmaster, but sure. what uh, what are they working with? What's the equipment in there? So or? we, well, we're the only one in the metro area to have a cool ship, Ooh. which I think oh. we strongly identify with. Uh, we are going to be using it a lot more in the upcoming months. Yeah. We got another storage space, a barrel room, where we're going to do a lot more of that. Because nice. uh, Dan, Dan Acosta, who is the head brewer and owner of the of LIC Beer Project, he, his intentions were farmhouse sales, saison, oh, okay. his experiences, all that. Love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, he fell into the IPA world just like everybody else. kind of have to know? pay the bills. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep, keep the doors keep the open. Yeah. Keep the so open. IPAs <laughs> yeah. will be flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're great. I mean, he did a, he did a great job with yeah, those, yeah. too. Pilot Crowns is, like, one of the most sought-after IPAs. Cannons. Cannons are really great. good. Hollows, all of them. Uh, but with the cool ship, we definitely want to be doing more. Uh, we inoculate with the outside air, open fermentation, but sometimes we pitch it with okay. yeast, you know, okay. we're doing bread or, Kind of jump know. started a little bit, Absolutely. get it going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, yeah, we want to, I mean, we have so it. We got to use used, it. Uh, you know? Have you used, have uh, anything been used yet or is it still in barrels or? Yeah, so we, we've done, I think, about four or five cool ship beers. And you can only do yeah. those at certain times of the year, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. That's what I was thinking. So like no- November-ish, is that kind of? Yeah, give or take, um, but... We, yeah, so in the next half of coming months, you'll be seeing a lot more of that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Because anything we've done, people are raving about. I don't know if you remember Dulcinea. That was in, yeah, it was great. It was a great beer. But yeah. I might have, have missed that it. one. Yeah. Shit. Super good. Uh, now, now next I, time. Next time. Uh, now, <laughs> now, if I stop by, now, if I stop by your place and you're the sixth one, what kind of prize? No, they should be the first one. We're <laughs> either the, I think That's when a, Matt and I did Matt, Matt, Hey, more, yeah. more beer. Yeah. He's got, no, this is LIC. Yes. Oh, the Kingsguard. We had this. I'm empty port. Such a great can. Such yeah. a great can. Good. Yeah. Um, I we had some at uh, we have a new bottle shop opening on Long Island that opened, Ooh. and they uh, he Hopscotch. brought in Hopscotch, Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Deer Park, Kingsguard, and Cannons were I the, the two he brought in for the first time. It was really good. That's I had awesome. both of them, Congrats. which neither one I had. So yeah, the Kingsguard is great. It was good to great. good to and have it's some. Seven percent. It's super approachable. With right. Yeah. A lot of citron notes. And yeah. Mm. Yeah. It is tasty. We do a lot of work with uh, Belma hops, which a lot of people don't come by. And where's that from? Yeah. I've not heard that variety that yet. That is a good question. I want to say it's Yakima. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. it's uh, it's hard to get to Galaxy. It's so expensive right now, too, because everyone's like, when are you doing Pile of Crowns again? But uh, we haven't been able to get as much Galaxy at the moment. Right. Uh, so we're working on it. All right. Next well, year. Yeah, Carly, exactly. how long have you been doing it? Doing what? <laughs> yeah. Rare. Hey, hey. <laughs> Listen, my wife's listening. Hey, Off the record, I'll get to you is in a while. Is she listening? <laughs> yeah, my wife is listening on YouTube. Hi, the honey. Wor- the word. Oh, God, this smells great. Uh, what, what, uh, I say that all the time. Huh? This was King, Kingsguard you poured me? So how yeah. long are you doing mm. it um, in the beer That's business good. as a beer captain? So Croxley's was my first adventure, 2008. Right. Really? Wow. So I've been in it for quite some time. Yeah, you've been, I've come 11 you've years. been in the yeah. shit. You've seen it come I've a seen long it way. Yeah. A Do you have a thousand yards there yet? <laughs> 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 Only on IPA. You have a good story? You have a good yeah. late night story? You have a really good late night story? Oh, man. Come on, really you got to have one good story. Either story will work Not late night, but... Last night, oh gosh, this is awful. I mean, there was just no filter with this gentleman yesterday. Woof. He I'm was sorry. Like, yeah, he was, <laughs> like, it was me. He goes, yeah, it wasn't you. I, I recognize. That's why I thought I knew you. Yeah. So he knew. He goes, you know what I like. You know what I love? I, I go, what? It was him and his son. He's like an older gentleman. You can and curse son. if you want. I was like, yeah, thank you. Good. I, I actually meant to ask that before I came on. Oh yeah. Um, have we have we cursed much at all? I have. I th- you I have, but we have. I probably have. We usually are. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're really bad with it, but no, we're maybe. actually doing pretty good today. Uh, not not on purpose, just in general. No, it's, it's, it's good. No, I'm sorry. I didn't interrupt Yeah, no. Uh, so he goes, you know what I love? I go, what's that? He goes, yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> I go, why is that? 
you know, it leaves nothing to the imagination. I was like, oh my God. He's not wrong. Oh he is my not, God. not wrong. No. Really I mean, wrong. wrong. I was like, it's athletic gear, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but some of them wear, wear sure it. Some, is. Of them wear, <laughs> some of them wear, you know, where you're looking, she's on page six, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. A news day. A news day, where they're looking at Camel Toe USA. Oh my easy, God. Easy, easy. No one needs that. It's a you family know. show, Grats. Wait, that's not true at all. Don't, <laughs> that don't promote that as that. Yeah. People are going to be walking by like, oh, it's a family show. Go ahead, kids. Go ahead. Get in here. Let's circle around. Mommy, Sit on Grass' ca- lap. What's a camel Let's toe, Mommy? Back Tell them what you want for Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh. Mommy, where's the beer, and why is that a camel toe? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Tig, you took it. Uh, so tell us a little about the artwork. It's one of the things that stands out. Let's pivot. Yeah. Yes, let's pivot. <laughs> Quick pivot. Um, you guys have some really cool artwork that adorns your cans. It's uh, very consistent in how it looks and feels. So yeah. tell us a little bit about um, you. you know what, or who you're using, or are you using local artists, or you got a very specific person. Is it a, you? We have a company. It is not me. All right. Because as I'm saying, so I'm like, gorgeous. I'm wondering if it's you yeah, or not you. So that would gorgeous. be. Uh, it's a company called Neltner. It's okay. a graphics company. Um, I actually, off the top of my head, I don't know where they're based, but they uh, they're great. It's a couple of just it's a small company, a couple of guys. Yeah, it's great. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Everything, like you said, it's so different, but yet stands out each and every time you yeah. see it in the case. Because there's a lot of small details going on. Right, like right. right. I mean, all this miss. background yeah. stuff that yeah. happens here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, up yeah. front, you get obviously what you should you know make the relationship between the, the beer name, monster. yeah, right, What's and that? of course the Love him. the thing. But uh, so the rest great. of it is so Does much. Does he have a detail. name, and is he a mascot? Yeah. The Kingsguard? Mm. No, the little hot monster. The little hot, the little hot monster. No, we should name him. That should mm. be our goal for, for What's this What's a hot Today. monster? It's, it's, right there. it's him right there. It's you. Yeah. Green monster. The green. That little guy. Doesn't he look fun? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like oh, yeah. Spuds or something like that. Spuds. Spuds. I love it. Hey, he's, got a, uh, he's got a puppet he puts his hand in. And, uh, Scrubs. Yeah. Scrubs. Scrubs. His <laughs> name was Scrubs. Yeah, I don't know why we call them that. Yeah, they right. say the dumbass has got the pup, the puppets on the dumbass's hand. That's right. <laughs> That's what it was. I wish we hadn't brought that up. I do. I <laughs> wish. <laughs> it was. It was one of the things we're trying to forget. Uh, so what's the uh, future bring? I know you said you, uh, the cool ship is, is yes. going to start up. That's exciting. We're, what else is uh, on, so much on going deck? On right now, That's yeah. what I'm saying. This is so we have the, the second storage space for barrels. Great. Okay. Uh, we're also rebranding and going to renovate our current space. Right. We thought about moving to the barrel room and just starting fresh as a tap room there. But it's what would you do with the old space if you did that? Stuff. Yeah, yeah, production. Production strictly. Oh, okay. There's a lot going on, you know, yeah. when you're a brewery and you're the tap room at the same time and it's all happening That's in crazy. the same space. It's a lot. There's so. a place and that tap room yeah. space could be used for production space to grow the business. Exactly. Yeah. But at the so. same time, then, what do you do with the tap room space? if right. To get the brand out there. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. It's still got Because obviously, like, a lot of the places here in Brooklyn, Queens, um, really thrive on that tap room um, yeah, absolutely. audience. We, this is our first time being not in here in general, but at Fifth Hammer. Um, and we noticed, like, even on the hottest days, on a, it's packed it's out. It's packed. It's crazy. It's packed. I mean, we were mobbed yesterday. Are they texting you right now telling you the place is on fire? We need you <laughs> yeah. back there, pouring. <laughs> I hope Immediately not. come down. Yeah, phone's over there. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I want to come yeah. here during the holiday season. I want to come here during Christmas time. Oh, yeah? This place the, yeah. has got to be hopping. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, oh, come this place has got to be hopping. Maybe we should do the tour. Hey. We should schedule a tour for us. Hey, Matt. Oh, absolutely. Matt, we're thinking of doing a bus tour for the Christmas time to come and do and do all six places. Do you're you're in? That. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> I'm trying to sell the you guy. You can't hear me. You where, where, hear where are you from again? <laughs> Park the bus, we walk, and we pay. We charge everybody to, for the bus anyway. <laughs> <laughs> none, none of that's going to actually work. We'll just end up having fun and coming in and hanging out. I will take everybody in. I know, I know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you have yeah, that. Yeah, so that rebranding, big, right? which is you know going to be quite a change. Our logo is pretty identifiable, and you know we're changing it, we're tweaking it a little bit. Right. Um, and yeah, going to redo the space. We need more seating. We're so busy. We have s- not enough seating right now. Right. Uh, so we're thinking like picnic tables, things like that. Or Ooh, okay. Potentially food. Uh, you have an outdoor Do you have an air conditioning? We don't. We're getting it. We do have mm. air conditioning. That's ah. great. Can we you do. tell Matt? Can you yeah. tell Matt for free yeah. to yeah. put one in his? <laughs> In his this, beer is, area? this is too big with the doors and everything. Uh, yeah, honestly, we, our Matt, space is just the same I'm size. I'm sending yeah. my air oh, really? conditioning yes. guy from okay. Long Island here. He's going to put a whole yeah, unit yeah, up. Yeah. All right? We'll take care of it. You'll owe me. We'll take right? care of it. Put it on my credit card. Put I got it on this. my credit card. You'll owe me, all right? Put it on Holy my tab. shit. Christ. Put it on my tab. I'm yeah. dripping from my nipples. Oh, my God. Go walk it off. I'm going to walk it off. I know you're going to go off. 
Um, Fern you want, let's give on. us uh, the big plug about LIC. <laughs> give us um, how we again. can find you, any uh, tasting room where people can find you yeah. if you're going to be in there and yeah, yeah. your um, upcoming schedule. Yes, 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 yes. People want to stock our, uh, stalk iCarly? Yeah, iCarly. <laughs> uh, I'm there Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I love that place so much. I've been there for two years. Wow, um, okay. I, yeah, I just love our brand. I love what we're doing. I love what we're representing. Uh, we do support a lot of locality. Uh, we have some DJs coming in recently. Oh, every okay. month of Friday. Cool. We have trivia, a bunch of uh, the first and third Thursday of every month. Lots of events. Lots of events. Good. We do food pop ups on Saturdays. Um, What's a food pop up? Yeah, so we, we do like, like food, truck or something? Dust, food trucks oh, okay. or people coming in doing their food, uh, which is lovely. That's cool. We do a lot of barbecue. Uh, Fig and Peach is one of our favorites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got some guys that do barbecue out in the Rockaways. They do some really good stuff. Maybe oh, they nice. can cater Send them one. Right. Yeah, Absolutely, exactly. I would love that. We'll make that I, I connection. Food vendors. Yeah, that'd be He'll great. appreciate yeah, that. It. It's always something different, right? In about yeah. ten yeah. minutes, they're gonna have a fat guy in the corner barbecuing. <laughs> I'm sweating <laughs> so bad. Sweating so much. Oh my god! You know what to pull you off? We have a cooking some food next to the grill. Oh my god! It'll feel like air conditioning when you walk away from the grill. Amazing. And where can people find the? Uh, LIC on, on uh, yeah, no, at, I'm uh, saying on social Instagram, media. Social media, we're yeah. at LIC Beer Project mm-hmm. on Instagram. Yep, check out our website. You can find all our events. Um, we're making just about every kind of style too. We're doing. Sweet. We have a Mexican. The cool shit is right so now. unique. Oh, That's I'm so looking forward great. to trying some so stuff great. from that. Yeah. We have two sours on right now that are kettle soured. So we did a peach and vanilla mm-hmm. uh, oh. and a raspberry chocolate, mm. and they are both fantastic. raspberry chocolate. Raspberry chocolate oh. sour. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. It worked out well. The, the chocolate comes in a little late. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah. A little bitterness oh. and smooth. Yeah. It's really, really. I'd good. be very interested to try yes. that because I've been into like it's a sour time now. Now it's hot. Uh, yep. You just want a bright beach beer. Beach yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got El Turno Mexican Lager. Ooh. So it's perfect. Are you working okay, tonight? I am not working. Yeah, we're, she, we're gonna go over there. Though. She started drinking Tuesday, Tuesday Friday, Friday Saturday. Yeah, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. We got a uh, live music on Sundays with uh, Tom Larson. He's fantastic. A little acoustic guitar. Yeah, really good stuff. Awesome. Well, Carly, thank you very much thank for coming guys. on the show. We appreciate it. Yes, Everyone can awesome. uh, check out LIC Beer Project on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Go ahead and uh, head into the inner tubes. And type in uh, LIC Beer Project, and you'll find the website. Yep, I'm sure it. I'm sure it's dot com yeah, right afterwards. I'm being silly. 3928 23rd Street. Yes, he'll, he'll be there. Party, and, uh, party, six breweries on the LIC Brewery the Trail. Trail. Yes, we're going to be talking to a bunch of these breweries on the Brewery Trail. Air horns. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll recoup. Fast to flex. Yes, exactly. Uh, we'll get some more people on here. This is the Word with Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com. We are on YouTube Live right now on our webpage. Uh, in our webpage, our in, uh, YouTube page. Yeah, the Word. Uh, the Word. Mike and Pete. Yeah, everyone can't hear me, apparently, for no reason. There is God. You're loud and clear. <laughs> loud and clear here, and I have it recorded. So uh, we'll be right back after this, folks. Hi, right, so we're with Mike at PeakUpsRadio.com. We are live here at Fifth Hammer Brewing Company in LIC, and we are joined by Lindsay and Aaron. They are the... Uh, Read the sheep. The cheese people. Yes, I know. A story Lindsay's of beer. The cheese I wanted to make sure I got the town <laughs> ta- <laughs> I to make sure I got the town they right. when I say that. <laughs> what were we going to say? I, well, first of all, yeah. we, went, we went in a cooler together. I just want to thank Matt from oh, boy. Uh, Fifth Hammer Brewery for yes. his frozen the candy. Mart- M&M, <laughs> M&M's. Mart. That I, that I I, I've been calling him Mart for no reason. It's Matt, I don't know why. It? Yeah, it is. Uh, Matt. Matt. I've been saying Mart. And second of all, my, <laughs> hey, it's Mart. my ass my yeah. ass sweat yeah. frozen there. Nice. But now it's back. Well, I mean, it, <laughs> what once know. was frozen does to thaw, <laughs> so you do understand it. Yeah. It's so good. I was talking to the girls. It does, it does it happen. It's sweat. It was great. Yeah, it's, it's M&M's. It's, it's, it's sounds a terrible. It sounds awful. Wait, I, I, have, wait, wait, I, I, I apologize for Anthony Grass Is there today. another comment about the frozen show? Host no. of Limbo Talk I, Podcast on GovsRadio.com. Yeah, what? Just I want to advise my wife I'll be home tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having too much fun here at... Fifth Hammer Brewing Company. Uh, girl, so uh, tell us a little bit about where you guys work and what you guys do over there. Um, we want to get a little sense of, uh, this is our first time broadcasting live in the city limits. We are Long Island guys, so for us, it's uh, it's definitely a treat to come in here and experience some of the local 
uh, brews and obviously the local establishments. So tell us a little about what you guys do and what's going on with you. Well, we don't work together, unfortunately, oh. although we wish yeah. we did. <laughs> oh, Lin I, Lindsay, I you're at Iconic. I'm at Iconic. Boom, I'm sorry. Yeah, is it's it? all good. I'm in Iconic Tap Room Jesus. here in LIC. Okay. We just opened a new tap room in Beer One Garden. of the six stops here on the LIC, LIC Brewery Trail. Trail. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So. We're just, we're just going to combine everyone's interviews. That's fine. I'm good with that. 43 63 11th Street. Michael. I turned you down. Sorry. Go what? You always do. I know. 43 63 scream. 11th Street in Long Island City. Uh -huh. That's right. Yes, so you this got is a, the second tap room. Their original tap room is in Astoria on 34th Ave. And they still have that? They still have that. They're nice. keeping it open. And they were brewing out of a commercial space on Northern Boulevard. So now they have a space to brew and nice. a big beer garden where you can bring your dogs and Yay. come and hang out and have all the delicious. Hopefully it's not 99 degrees out. But we have air conditioning. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm coming. When that space is now infinitely more valuable. I was <laughs> going to say, <laughs> next podcast. As soon as, yeah, this, show, as, soon as this show ends, I'm there. Yeah. yeah. Iconic, 4363. At least you buy me the first next. beer. After that, I'll, I'll put a tab going. Don't worry. It's on me. <laughs> Listen, well, you know next road is? show with air conditioning. <laughs> I'll put a tab going. Listen, you know how bad it is in Fifth Hammer if you turn around and there's four guys with their feet in a fucking kiddie pool. <laughs> There's a kiddie pool behind <laughs> us with four guys. I gotta check that out. You gotta get that on. Hold on, I, I gotta. I, if you look over right here on the YouTube page, there they are. They're all. They're, they're in all a fucking in the pool. kiddie pool. That's right. Well played. Well played. Hey Matt, where's the ice? You gotta keep everybody cold. I was just gonna exactly. Say, yeah, throw some ice the on ice. there. Yeah. Put some water on the damn shit. Yeah. <laughs> damn thing gotta ice. grow. Tell us a little bit about um, Iconic and uh, the vibe over there. And I, I've yet to been there, but my sister actually lives about a block and a half away. Oh, awesome. I've had plenty of beer from you guys. Yep, yep. Um, she comes by, you know, out, out to the island, uh, I'd say, like, uh, every month. And every so often brings me a, a growler or two out. Her yeah. and her husband have uh, many good times in Astoria, so... Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with the uh, the brew company. Yeah, so the three owners uh, have been friends since the Sandbox, and mm. they uh, decided to get together and brew some beer. So all their stuff is natural, like they use all natural ingredients. Okay. Like we have a cucumber saison and mm. uh, proper burial saison that has like mixed berry, like really uh, habanero, uh, jalapeno all real natural stuff um, so it's got a nice vibe and it's got a family vibe like their parents are coming in and helping out with the tap room and that's cool. yeah that's so, really cool yeah and we don't have food so you can have bring your dogs and come hang out and i can bring the dog you can bring your dog you can bring your dog Get a bring, bring your dog, we'll have some coffee. I ask this we'll question all the time, and everybody Get looks at me with this. I ask this question all the time, everybody looks at me with disgust. Yeah. What happens if he drops a poop right when he's hanging out? Well, How often does that happen? Does that happen? I didn't take my dog to a brewery yesterday because I was paranoid about that. I will say, I have picked up dog poop. They, you've had to pick it up. I've had. That's to pick a terrible it up. fucking dog owner. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a regular. <laughs> he's a regular. She's got a shovel. It's a. It's probably as you got a concrete floor, so it might. It's a little easier well, than and having the like. Well, the outside area has like gravel, so ah, it's a little easier oh, outside. Mm. But uh, but yeah. A little yeah. gristle with your dog. Poop. <laughs> what is your job mm. there? I am a bartender. Nice. Oh, okay. So I pour the beer majestically and suggest <laughs> suggest amazing options for you. It pours like the beer like and puts a lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mike, basically, yes. Matt gave us a synopsis of all the bartenders at all the bars yeah. on the six yes. mile, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the brewery trip. Pretty much. That's, That's right. That's the only, right. The only re non representation we haven't had is Rockaway and Big Alice. Everyone else is represented here. Yeah. 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 And they're all beautiful and nice ladies, too, I must say. You're well, such a thank nice you. gentleman. Good thank job. You. And smart, too. That's, yeah, it's very smart. smart. I'm sorry. Is that <laughs> sexist? <laughs> I, know, I know nowadays if you say they're beautiful, they're Hashtag me, else, too, goddamn it, Grass. No, I, 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 just I apologize. And yeah, smart. if you don't follow yes. it up with smart, right. you make it look <laughs> exactly. like. I think you got to lead with smart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't lead probably with smart. I said they're good looking and smart and cheese. No, you didn't. Cheese woman smart. doesn't like me at all. <laughs> well, Why would she? You I thought she was the. Woman. I thought she was the cheese girl. She goes, but I'm not the cheese girl. Not the cheese girl. Not the cheese girl. But you know, it's like that's the thing now. Like you know, you go to a brewery, you don't just see men. You see moms. You see yeah. women. You see babies. And you know, so, it's like. I got a sideways. Uh, I was upstate uh, a couple weeks ago with family. Uh, stopped at Bolton Landing Brewing, and I uh, had they had an amazing beer, a hibiscus pilsner. I thought it was fucking phenomenal. So I asked the bartender, like, "What's up with this beer?" And points down to the bar, and you can ask the brewer. And there's a woman sitting at the end of the bar. I'm like, "Oh, tell me all about it." And she gave me a weird look, like, 
why would you think I'm the brewer? Like, why the fuck wouldn't you be the brewer? Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> I mean, that's great that you're thinking that way. Yeah. I mean, you know. But I mean, even just patron patrons that, that come to you. Like, yeah. I have girlfriends that say, well, I don't like beer. And I say, well, you haven't had enough. And you're drinking the wrong beer. No, you haven't had exactly. enough beer. Exactly. What's the and best night for the chicks at your place? Oh, every night. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to ask. I'm sorry. Well, I, did, I, I did ask the last one, so I figured I'd ask yeah, you yeah, yeah. I will say, like, a good Friday or Saturday night, we'll have, we have turntables, people guest DJ, people come in and play. So oh, we nice. Have, like, so you got, lot, yeah, yeah. Like, a nice atmosphere, food trucks. So it's not just, like, a, some dude on an acoustic guitar all the time. No. It's definitely <laughs> a nice... It's true, though. It's, that's what a lot of people do, but now they're kind of diversifying their portfolio yeah and if you're uh, you know you spin and you want to come and dj uh bruno will be happy to nice. one of our owners bruno daddy ah, D-A-D-D-I. <laughs> bruno daddy that's his yes. name yes that's his name. Bruno, DJ daddy. Bruno daddy. they were all born and raised in queens really and okay knew each other from yeah so local 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 nice truly, yeah. speaking of women and children here's some women and children my friends <laughs> more uh, he's not happy. No, He says the word so and, Mike, and Mike's microphone's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching on YouTube in my backpack on the way here, but my, it was, I couldn't hear Mike to ask the, the, the pertinent questions. questions. Yeah. I just want to comment. He has a Thundercats backpack, which is <gasps> awesome. Fantastic, snarf, right? Snarf, snarf, snarf. snarf. <laughs> um, but that's it. I think, I think one of the biggest turnarounds in the last five years of breweries is having that family atmosphere. Bring your dog. Bring your kids. We have plenty of games and stuff they can do. We have plenty of stuff that for the parents to enjoy, making it a very alluring place to come and hang out. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure you've been noticing that, you know, in and around your both both of your establishments. Well, yeah. I mean, I've known Aaron for a long time. I'm a frequent uh, patron of, of uh, Story of Beer and Cheese, but it's the same thing there. I mean, yeah, for the beer or for much. the cheese? Excuse me, pardon me. The, the uh, owner of Fifth Avenue is now going to pour Fifth a beer. Avenue? Fifth, uh, Fifth Hammer owns Fifth Avenue. Fifth Hammer. Yeah, he's not, the owner. Well, also not the owner. Also not the owner. All right, well, whatever. I call him the owner. This is Matt. <laughs> it's Matt. He's yes. my owner. My owner. He's going to pour in... Pour not in not into that. Matt, what are you doing? Drink that first. Drink that no. first. What is it, like a 9.6? Oh, Jesus oh, hold Christ. Hold on. This show just I would like to go home direction. eventually. No, you ain't going not happening. No, no, no. It's great, not great. Stuck here. Uh, I've been trying to tell them, but... What is that? So, Aaron, tell us about the uh, story of beer and cheese. Yes. Um, so Specifically about the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you too much about the cheese. Thank goodness. I want to hear about the beer. Uh, we have a huge selection of beers, uh, local, all over the U.S., imports, everything. Um, and is it like a bottle shop? Is it a bar? It's a bar and bottle shop. Ooh, we okay. also have amazing food. You can come in get meat and cheese plates, mm. uh, really great sandwiches. Um, it's very much a local spot. It's a big community spot in Astoria. A lot of our customers have been coming since we opened almost seven years ago. Yeah. You buy the Italian, <laughs> <laughs> you buy the Italian <laughs> restaurant over there? Uh, uh, Bartolino? Yes. Oh, oh my God. You are? No, yeah, we're across the What do you the do there? What's your job? I'm the buyer at Astoria Beer and Cheese. I do the whole beer program there. Nice. Yeah. Not, and I also like bartend. She doesn't do the cheese. No, no cheese. No cheese. Someone else does the cheese. I do mm. the beer. I do the bartending, manage the bar. So what goes into choosing the right beer for what you guys are doing uh, at the time? Or pairing? And how do you get your preference out of that? Because like mine would end up being, like there'd be double saisons and strong ales. <laughs> exactly. Everything I want. Yeah. everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's hard sometimes to like take a step back from what I want and just appeal to everyone else. But I think it just comes from, I've been there for over four years now. So I really know our customers. I know what they're looking for. Um, I would assume you're like, you have the pulse of all the, all the market trends yeah, that yeah, these days. Absolutely. Yeah. Do what, what do you think is the next, what do you think is the next big thing? Ooh, mm. that's tough. Um, I Can- feel like- Cannabis. Cannabis. Well, I mean, yeah. Also, but I feel no, like I, mean, I feel like everyone's shifting back towards like you know it was hazy IPAs were the sure. big. I mean, they're still the big thing, but I feel like a lot of people are going back towards like pilsners and lagers and really mm. clean, refreshing beers. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. cold. Yeah, lagers. Yeah. Yeah. Be- we want something really well made, but like crisp and clean easy and drinking. easy drinking. We've like, had a lot of people yeah. on the show, even brewers, say that like I I, just, I want a good lager. Not, yeah, yeah, not enough yeah. lagers. Not lately. enough lagers. And I agree with that. I think there's uh, a, a place for everything that yeah. comes out, and um, and to have a diversified, you know, tap list at any establishment is definitely important as well. So you always yeah. got to have 
Pearl Cream Ale, you know, things that aren't as popular, but yet right. people are going to come in and go, oh, yeah, no, I, I love that. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's going to keep them coming back. Yeah. How many taps? Uh, just gonna ask uh, we have 10 draft lines. Um, we're always going to have, like, a stout on, always something nice and clean and crisp, mm. like a Pilsner, Lager, Kolsch. Uh, try to put on some sours, saisons, something dark that isn't a stout, and then usually, like, three different IPAs, double IPAs, because you have to sell. Yeah. Yeah. So, Thanks. Believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. I actually look for doubles and triples when I get to a place. I'm like, what's the one beer I can have that's going to get me a little buzz as fast as possible? It makes sense. And they also have an awesome bottle and can selection oh, yeah. that you can pick out from the fridge and have it there. I'd say so. close to 200 wow. options. Wow. We that's have nice. a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. So. So there's a, a bottle shop opening up out here uh, by us in Long Island. Uh, it opened up, actually, uh, Hopscotch. And they're trying to bring that same vibe to Long Island. There's not any other bottle shops in Nassau or Suffolk County. So what would you say to someone like Mark who would um, who opened up a shop? What, what's the, the key ingredient to having a good, diversified amount of beer in the place? Um. I would definitely make sure you're bringing in local stuff. Mm -hmm. People love local options. That's probably what sells the best for us right now is local cans. Okay. Um, but also just try to cover all your bases. Like, okay. especially right now, sours are really hot. Yep. Yeah. Um, ciders do really well for us right now. Really? IPAs, okay. Yeah. Huh. But just try to make sure you're appealing to everyone. So as a bottle shop, that would be great advice. As a brewery, what do they look to do? Similar, similar concepts, similar... Yeah, I would say that, you know, obviously seasonal, right? So, like, right now we're in the hottest bowels of hell. <laughs> <laughs> Summertime. <we> nice <laughs> circle. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want a paper towel? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I Thank you. Let me, let me. Yes, I do. Thank you. Right, Who's but, you know, like Aaron, you need one? Yes. Yes, so, you know, we have the we're all, I'm trying, we're all I'm wiping trying to, down here. I'm trying to contribute. We don't have our feet in the water right now. So. I know. You know, we have a cucumber saison, we have a jalapeno saison, we have a wheat beer that has Ooh. ruby red grapefruit in it. Ooh. So those kind of easy bright, drinking, fresh, bright, right. fresh. Um, and I also, you know, the Pilsner also does really well, obviously, session IPAs, because I think people want to drink for a while, but they maybe can't drink What can I have 15 of? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. exactly. What was the one that but, Charlie was pushing, that 1940s Pilsner in a can? Um, what was that? No. He said it was oh, like Rheingold the, uh, or something, something similar to Rheingold. That, I, seems, that, that was that, a lot. Am I correct? It seems like the older type of beers, the taste is coming back, like the Rheingold. Yeah, yeah. the lager, the Pilsner lager, feel. The yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what we absolutely. About it was just 1940s lager. Listen, well, they're yeah, both well, looking at me. I'm, yeah. the, I, I'm just the comedic value <laughs> here. I have no idea about... Beer. He knows nothing about beer. No, but a lot of craft breweries right now are doing light versions of lagers. So, like, kind of their take on, like, huh. a Appeals. Bud Light or a Bud Light Lime. Right, right. And Dubco does that. It's Dub Light. Really Dub good. Light, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, like uh, Night Shift just did a oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Night Light Lime. It's so, or Limelight. What? And it's so good. You know and, what they like, got to do? I'm assuming yeah. it's at least a half step better than Bud Light Lime. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> they got to throw a party out here. I do. I think there's one. I think there's one next right with here. all these lovely ladies and us hanging out. Yeah. The, oh, dude. They just, they, and on. they're very knowledgeable. For us, the content is what's important. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> I, I, I agree. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do. Understand. But it's a lot harder to build, you know, to brew a really good lager, a really good. Agreed. Pilsner. But you're into it too, which is really nice to see you two that there's passion. We've, we've like been, what you said, you know everybody that walks in there. Yeah. You know that Harold's gonna hang out, have seven beers, and Fucking go home. Harold. And, and go home at nine o'clock when the Met game's over. Harold. Just, right. Yep. Harold is such a. All right, I just picked Harold. Such a D bag. What do you got? <laughs> uh, Matt's here pouring us. Oh, is this right? the uh, grapefruit? Raspberry kiwi. Oh, raspberry sour. What is that? Thank you. It's deliciousness in a can. It's pink. We have this <laughs> at a story bear and cheese right now. Do you? Selling very well for wow, us. Wow. Fifth nice. Hammer does so well for us. It would do bar. very well with a cheese platter because yes, the raspberry, yeah. the, the tartness along yeah, with the cheese. Yeah, we like to pair wow, sours with like kind of funky uh, sheep or goat's milk cheeses because yeah. it cuts through that Ooh, funkiness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you I can guys do have an event coming up, right? What? We do. Ooh. We have a big event coming up this yeah. Wednesday. It is called... So close! It's three yeah. days! All right, yeah. good. What's, cats what's on the Cats on Cats Strikes Back. It is a... Do tell. Cat <laughs> I, need, event. I, need, I need so many more I'm details. Interested. I have I'm all interested. the questions. Cats on Cats on Cats? <laughs> yes. Strikes Back. 
Yes. Uh, we, lot, we did I'm this not going to say can I bring my show. dog. That's a lot. That's a lot no. of something. Can't bring your dog. Can't bring okay. your cat, unfortunately, because we do serve food. Right. Um, but we are going to have uh, some cat-themed People beers dressed up on tap. You no. can put on some Ooh. cat ears right, if you saying. want. He's going to shoot him down immediately, but he made sense no, on that one. If you want to dress yeah, up like a cat, sense. go for it. Like, so whatever you want. Well, you can, get, dr- you can get drawn as <laughs> a cat. You can get drawn as a cat. We're going to have three artists Face set paint. up. No. They will illustrate, oh, like, do a portrait okay. yeah, yeah. of you as a cat or a caricature of your own cat. Ah, uh, you could be that, yeah. Some great beers on draft. We're also going to do a raffle. We're going to give are, away a uh, cat backpack that you can put really? your cat in. I need some more insight into cat-themed beers. Yes. I, um, again, all fat, the questions. Fat I'm going to call my new, my new IPA is called Pussy Willow. Oh, <laughs> you see, I wasn't going to go there. You guys did. I, I always do. When they said I they wanted to make go drawings, <laughs> I was going to say something. And Someone I backed off. It was a family it. show. It wasn't that bad. You were going to make what? Drawing? Drawings. A drawing. Drawings. A drawing. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you making fun my of my name is Simon no, and I like drawings. It's okay. my favorite accent. Start, I'm learning. Where, where are you Apparently, it's, it's <laughs> the least sexy uh, accent uh, yeah. in the world. It's the Long Island accent. I agree. Absolutely. I'm from Southern worst. California. I have no accent, so I need to. That's good. Yours. You want to be neutral. You want to be plain plain Jane. It's getting hot. It's getting real hot in here. Is it? Yeah, yes. right? <laughs> Real hot. Um, so uh, how can people find that event and how can they get in touch and, and get, is there tickets? Is it just um, walk It's not a ticketed event. Okay. Just anyone can come in. Um, you can find out more information about it on our Instagram page. It's oh, just ABC Broadway. Okay. Um, we also post on Facebook too. Um, yeah, it's just going to be, I think, starting at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, going until we close. Okay. Um, for the artists, they're going to have sign-up sheets. Those do fill up quickly. So Ooh. if you want to get drawn as a cat, you have to come early. <laughs> you got to come early. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, if you want six. other pictures. <laughs> no, no, I, no. All right. no. <laughs> I, I, I always come early. So that's that's what happens when I want to get drawn as a cat. All the terrible jokes. home photos. No, I'm just I'm being serious. <laughs> no one All the those. terrible jokes. Right. Why am I drinking here, Michael? This, uh, You're the, drinking uh, the pig- palette pigment, raspberry key lime. Michael, am I allowed to make an opinion it's sour whether it's ale. good or bad? What do you think? Mm, of what course. Do you think? I, Tell only us. if it's good. I, the truth, I don't like yeah. it. The truth? You don't like it? Oh. The truth? Why? Then you're going to drink. You, you he's still going to drink every bit of it. Of course. Of it's just sour. Yes, well, that's yeah. right. Well, what do you know? It's, it's a sour, sour ale with raspberry key lime. I didn't read the can. He poured it to me. And we're trying to be with these knowledgeable, nice Beautiful women. Yes. See? So what do nice. you forgot? What, smart. Grass, uh, let me ask you a question. While, a while they sit and judge and evaluate you, what yes. what is your favorite style? You know what my favorite style is. Yes. I like well, that ale. Don't. I like an ale type, like a, a seven point three ale, double ale like ale. a Bach. He I doesn't know what uh, ale or, or okay. lager means. This is why way. we bring him yeah. on. It's the best. It's like the complete opposite of everyone we ever talk to. And it's the best part of the show. What does I, ale mean? He's like, I'll take a 7.4 ale with Bach Wait, in it. On, Doesn't on, care what it tastes man, like. Can I as long a, as the alcohol like content 7. is between 7 something. and 8. Yeah, he's it. Up on Anywhere in between. 7.4, 7.5. A 4, seven, five, well, a four and an 8 with, with water in it. The It'd be man, fun. The I'm, man I'm, at I'm Fifth water. Hammer Brewery is getting me a 7.2. That, that, just drink it. Hold on. Can I have a glass, please? No, no, no. I'm going to drink that. I can't drink that. I can Matt, no offense, I love you more than anything in this world. I can't drink that beer. More than his kids and his I dog. I can't drink this sweet beer. Pour the rest of that in it's that so we can... Sweet. It's sour. It's, it's sour, it. right. <laughs> just just take it all. Is that a problem? Because I'll be... No, there's no problem. No, I'm talking to the people with their feet in the pool. That's that's their feet in the pool. What's the problem? They look like they're having a great time back there. Fern, Fern from Black and Tan Kern, hasn't, Kern hasn't washed his feet in a, in a month. <laughs> Did you see the fucking toenails on that guy? <laughs> He's got a hangnail the size of a... How do you see the toenails see on that guy? I see the hangnail from here. That's crazy. Kern, the, uh, the, the uh, cornhole things are right there. So if you want to find a beanbag and... and just swing it at him. rip it at grass. Just make sure you don't hear any... Uh, I don't think anyone would blame you. Any cans you. of <laughs> stuff that could fall over. I'm, Kern, I'm the Kern, clip your toenails. Christ oh, almighty. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, this has turned out really well. Falling apart rapidly. Yes. <laughs> as, um, as it's I'm sorry, to cheese lady. I, I want to... Okay. Um, Quickly, just go back, Lindsay. Um, the the tap room itself is it going to stay open during the move? 
or is it already done, or where, where are we at in the, uh, the yeah. progress? So the new tap room in Long Island City, which is the one that you were giving the address for, yes. is about a, like five weeks old. So we're a okay. bra- brand new baby, but the other one is staying open because Good. it's this nice little local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the one my sister does. Yeah, you kind of stumble upon it, and you know you're in a special place. So, <laughs> What's your capacity? You know? What's your capacity at the old one and now the new one? The old one is probably, what would you say, like... Pretty small. It's like 20, 20. max. That would yeah. be that's like so great. That has got to be fucking great. Yeah. And I've always like, wanted that. Really intimate. And that's what's really great about our customers. They're all people that have been to the tap room, that have come back. They've told someone about it, mostly. And now that we're in this... It's referral, uh, right? Yeah, but yeah. now that we're in this amazing of community mouth. of LAC and with all the other breweries, like this brewery tour, this brewery walk, you know, it's like... We get people that are like, I was at Fifth Hammer, I was at Big Alice, you know, and so and yeah. we have people from other other breweries coming in, and so it's a really nice community in LIC of just people that want to learn about beer, they want to brew beer, and they're really excited about it. And that's one of the things we talked about with our brewer friends out in Long Island. There, we were always concerned. All right, so you're going to open up within you know 10, 12, 14 square miles of somebody else. Aren't you concerned? No, everyone's totally cool. That's the way it is everywhere. We've you know, I've spoken to people, whether it be in here, or out there. Everyone says, no, we take each other and we recommend each other. We say, okay, we're going to work with them. Send them over there. Get them in the tap room. Make it a day of it. It Everyone was never has, like that. In the, in the past when I bought it, was that, not. They, they all went after each other's throats. Yes. There's and no Bud Light. Of course. What I've noticed <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, the Michelob Light wasn't flowing no, like right, a river. Right, no, it was Pete Witt's. Wicked Ale or Killian's Red was there back then. Ah, I'm, Killian's I'm aging, Red. I'm aging like myself. You two could be my daughters, okay? Uh, I'm the oldest guy, that, I'm the oldest guy in this room. <laughs> that is you. a compliment, yes, yes. So what I'm saying is it was always cutthroat, yeah. and now you got all these guys helping each other, yeah. True. Yeah. which like Barrier, Bobby from Barrier seems to be like a saint. You know what I mean? Everybody goes to him. That's because you smoked weed with him. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, yes. I'm going to be honest. Thousand, and we got a thousand views on Facebook. You did. You did, you did very well, well on Facebook being with your high, little interview. You realize that there's enough to go around, right? There's enough to go around. Everybody has their contribution to be That's made. That's correct, and yes. And so let's, like, freaking make all kinds of awesome stuff. And, and so that, yeah. that works well with the brewery and the establishment, right? I mean, yeah. have a, if you guys, uh, what time is the tap room open to usually? Uh, during the week, we're open Wednesday through Friday. We open at 4. Yeah. And then on the weekends, we're open at noon. So what time do you go Closing to? time. Ten? To midnight during the weekends. Wow, okay. And it's a little different out by us. They close at like 6, 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's Charlie like, closes wow. at 10, right? Yeah. Or, uh, sometimes a little later, depending on the crowd. But it could close earlier, too. It all depends on what's going on in the t- taste. Now, room. when I come over there and we get drunk over there and it's about 12, 15, we stay open at 1? Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> they want to go home. California no, girl. No, we stay open. We have the DJ going. Nice. You know, and we're Get actually starting. Hours. Yep, we're starting a volleyball league. I mean, Get the fuck well, out of here! Mike loves hold volleyball. Hold on, hold on, time out. Get what? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, no, I don't play volleyball. There's a volleyball league happening here but in the city. We need, uh, we need players. So okay. it's really cool because this little alleyway that's behind our tap room, they've now painted and put the city of Long Island City has put in okay. chairs and tables and. So now they're going to have a volleyball games out. Are they going to throw sand down, or are they just going to do it know. in the street? I think they're going to do it on. It's asphalt, but it's okay. like it's it's a pretty cool little like area. Now, is it a well traveled alleyway? Is there well, like? Well, now it is. It's yeah. now really growing and like. We're, That's interesting. Know, yeah, it, I mean because urban volleyball, you could play volleyball with the sides. No, it makes sense, there you right? Go. Volleyball. Volleyball. Well, I think with, you're on to with something. regular volleyball rules, yeah. and we could definitely make that work. I like this. So when's the idea. first iconic volleyball game? Well, we have. I will have to keep you posted. We'll so do a Gov's, have to Gov's radio Gov's team. Gov's radio. We'll do a Gov's radio. We'll do a Gov's right. radio yeah, team. We'll Sounds like a plan. Because we'll play you guys. Just so you know, well, don't play me because yeah. okay. I'll lose. <laughs> he can't jump, so I wouldn't worry yeah, about yeah, it. I'm, I'm He'll a, sweat I'm in the first manager. five minutes, drink a beer, and go sit on the That's sidelines. Yeah. We, I know I he's that. I can be the handicap player as well. I'm terrible. Yeah, you're tall though, so you can just stand there. I have a bus. That's well. That's what I do. Yeah. That's your superpower. There it is. You can bring the team on a bus. Ooh. Gov's Radio Bang Bus Volleyball Tour? <laughs> volleyball I, got a bang, I got a Bang Bus that does we'll, we'll basketball. We'll hit all six breweries, breweries, and then we'll come back for the volleyball ball, game. Yes. Wow. No, we'll break our ankle if we came <laughs> in. And six. We'll go play volleyball first, no, wait, then go in no, 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 no. No? You got to drink first. I, I get drunk before I play volleyball. A day in Long Island City. We should do that. I like it. I know. We'll, we'll visit all, everybody we've had we'll on the show. come visit our favorite 
uh, uh, Captain Beer Captains. Yes. They're called bartenders. <laughs> no, it's a buyer. I will, I will visit our, and a smart, and our smart beer captains. I, can't call our, I Carly and was the anymore, beer captain. Because that's sexist. I know. It's, it's like, shit. No, why, why do we even have this? Just throw it out. Smart. Pretty and talented. All right. Pretty yeah. and talented. Or you just say they're pretty talented. That's they're right. They're pretty smart. That's Iconic right. 4363 there you 11th go. Street That's in Long right. Island City or the Astoria. That's in Long Island City. All right. Any other uh, plugs, social media, places we can get in touch with you? Well, we're on we're Iconic Brewing on, on Instagram and uh, Facebook. So follow us for events and food truck information. Nice. Yeah, and then we're ABC Broadway on Instagram and Facebook. And, and anybody in wrestling following. knows that they hold the WWE Tag Team SmackDown championship right now. This one's you a know wrestle, that? This You're a wrestle, wrestle girl. girl. They had the belts? <laughs> iconic. Oh, iconic. Yeah, when the people come in, they, you should go, how's your beard? It's iconic. I- <laughs> <laughs> Terrible joke. All right, this is where it might be. And, and, and Graz is you. gone. <laughs> this is the word. I'm sorry. I turned, I, I, you guys are linked together, so when I turn him off, I turn you off. Yeah, but... Well, I, I'm done now. Now <laughs> I spent I spent it. Please gotta finish. Yes. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, when we get back, we're gonna have Mart. Our, Mar- I said Matt it again. Archambault. Oh I'm, I'm Mark from Hopscotch, what? dude. <laughs> Matt Archambault. You gotta say it like very bougie, like Mark. His, his toes I mean, are swollen. He's a little bougie. Matt A from Astoria. Yes. 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 Matt from Astoria. Yes. I know. Astoria. Yeah. I know. I'm giving him probably way too much credit than you guys think he yeah. deserves. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, we'll be right back after this. The World with Mike at PeakCubsRadio.com. We'll see you in just a minute. Oh, yeah. This is The Word with Mike and Pete. A little alkaline trio there, a little radio by alkaline trio. A fun one. Uh, We're here live at Fifth Hammer Brewing Company in Long Island City, uh, New York. We are streaming live. All right, so here's, here's the deal. Um, before we get to our last segment, in just a few moments, this is mine, and I promise not to spill this, excuse me, this one again. Um, here's, here's how you can find us. All right, so if you go on YouTube and you type in uh, the wart, W-O-R-T, Mike and Pete, pronounce wart, spelled wart, uh, you could find our channel there and uh, all our past shows and everything. I had to go over there. Uh, if you go on Instagram, really, uh, see this table is melting in the heat. Um, if you go over to Instagram, there is a link in our bio for all of the places where you can find the podcast version of our show. Uh, also, we are streaming live uh, on, like I said, YouTube. We will also be streaming Spotify. live for our... No, not live. Oh, not live. We will be streaming live on GovsRadio.com for our studio shows. Our live shows can't quite do that just yet. But we'll be able to make that happen soon enough. And, uh, of course, we're on Spotify. Yes, we are on iTunes. We're on Laughable. We're on the Hopped Up, Up Network. Network. And we are on Gov's Radio and Replays, so check us out uh, on that. And again, uh, the Wurtz, a podcast, all underscores on uh, any of these social media, so check us out there. And joining us here at the table right now, we have the boys, uh, the Beer Swipers. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's and going one on? half of Black and Tan. And one half of Black and There's Tan. There's so much beer social media on right now. <laughs> I know, exactly. I, wait, I'll, i got to turn you up because I have Graz turned way down oh, when he yeah. gets up. He screams in that microphone, so let me sure, turn you up a little bit. He's a loud man. I can smell his mouth right yeah. here. <laughs> I can smell it. As sexy as it can be. How's it smell? Yeah. Mm. Like cinnamon, yeah, but, not, raw, but like not really minty bad fresh. cinnamon, you know? not minty fresh. It's a little <laughs> bit of marijuana <laughs> followed by beer. So yeah, that's fine. nothing wrong with that, guys. <laughs> it doesn't make you a bad person. Uh, so, gentlemen, thanks a lot for coming down and, and joining us for this uh, little outing. Thank you uh, for having me. Appreciate you guys. No, no problem. I, I thank you very much. Uh, you guys live fairly close, so I figured, what better way than to show the community uh, not only of uh, all the brewers, but all the you know uh, social media people like ourselves. Uh, we're all here because we all love beer. <laughs> and boys. And uh, yeah, we're all fanboys <laughs> of the stuff that's happening here in uh, Brooklyn, Queens, and then beyond. So uh, we, we've talked to you, so it's no offense to you to start, but I want to start over the, the uh, you guys. So tell us how this all started, how you guys came to be, and uh, you know, what you guys are up to right now. Sure. So I'm the professor. What's going on, guys? What's going on? So we... The professor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, we actually started one night just drinking beer as always. Okay. Uh, we were hanging out at Eric's apartment and we came up with the idea, like, listen, we love beer, we should kind of do something and then it just kind of took off from there. We're surprised now that uh, 
we have all these followers yeah. and it's actually paying attention to just a bunch of idiots from Queens. Um, we know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so we're surprised. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every now and then we, when someone says, like, oh, I heard the feel. podcast, I'm like, you feel. really? You like it? Well, yeah. I, I, I'll, give, I'll give you a quick story. And it was just, it was so weird because we were telling Matt today. Um, we got a, t- uh, a DM from somebody two days ago from Kentucky. Like, hey, come do the podcast at our brewery. I'm like, dude, you know we're in New York, right? Like, uh, we're not going to come to Kentucky to do a, bre- a show at your nah. brewery. Sorry. And he goes, oh, well, I'll be up in New York. I can come on the show. Oh, okay. Apparently, he they sent a guy out to find some sort of other podcast that was in and around Boy that area. Boy Meets Work. Boy Meets Work. <laughs> and it ended up that they found connections, the fact that we were doing a show today. And... Matt knows the guy that's running the brewery. Oh, wow. Matt, Matt's wearing, and he's wearing shirt. the shirt today. <laughs> 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 it's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with us and him yet. It, yeah. it just had to do with like a mistake. And like things like that are so cool and natural to me. I just oh, I find yeah. it really fantastic oh, that yeah. our community, our our podcast, um, uh, what do you, what do you want to call it? brewcast. Uh, uh, blogging like community yeah. is just it's so yeah. natural and organic sometimes it's amazing oh yeah it's, it, it, it is it is fantastic and uh, we've we've talked we've spoken and um, and just all the time we've just been kind of like reconceptualizing what we want to do how we want to you know just talk about what you know our passion of just trying out fantastic getting, of getting beer. drunk as shit pretty much <laughs> <laughs> well that happens but it, but and, and, and everything that goes along with though like the community <laughs> that, that you live very close so you know this area how everyone comes together and comes here to meet and comes and hangs and drinks yeah and uh, and that's that, that's actually that is actually what what we're really looking to do is that we talked about it what what makes us us we grew up we we grew up in this area we yeah. know it very well we know how, how New York City changed yep. over the years and, and things that happened over here. So why not? Why yeah. not? Why not? Why not us be the voice? You know right. of this of this area, and um, and that's and that's all we're doing. You know, one step at a time. We have we, we have some great. We, we're talking about some great ideas. What to do next? How to how to grow from here? And um, we're so excited. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's so it's, we're so excited. It's, one of those things right now is just uh, it's amazing how. Like you said, a bunch of idiots just talking about beer <laughs> can get some recognition, get some viewership. And, and But for us, when we started, it wasn't really about us. It was about... Peace out. All right, we're saying goodbye to... Uh, Take care, Earl. Yeah, Thank bye to so Jake. Much. And bye to... Uh, that was Car- I, Carly. Bye, guy, Carly. Bye, Carly. Jake from State Farm. We give everyone names. Um... Uh, how, how it just not it, to derail it while we were already derailing it we all smell that right yes we do okay. yeah. I don't know what you're referring to exactly <laughs> yeah. well grass smelled it and that's why he's not here anymore he's like he's like the hound dog he's, he's out there baking some brownies right now yeah <laughs> I like brownies he's already he's already in the kitchen he's cooking exactly. um, how we could all like just uh, help and be part of this without being the day to day you know yeah, like I don't right, want to be right. doing that yeah. I love that but I don't want to be doing that. It's not well, what I'm drinking it, too. Yeah, well, that's... that's I'd rather Cheers. just take that part of it boys. and drink it. There you go. Hey! Clap. Um, so, I mean, for us, it, it's always been that. So you guys are having um, some... some uh, I don't want to say exposure, but, like, more and more people, you know, coming through and... What, what do you think the next step is? Where do you want to go with this? What do you want to do? So I think that one of the next steps that we were talking about was actually shooting videos and going to breweries, maybe talk to the brewers mm-hmm. or the bartenders and just getting um, a sense of what's going on behind, you know, behind closed doors, right? Right, right. Um, and so far, you know, we've gotten to all these cool places and we met awesome people working at different breweries and we just want to expand on that. Right. right. Um, I've been lucky enough to travel and go into different countries and, you know, he wants to do the same and, and just that's what we want to do. Not just show what's going on here in New York City or the U.S., right. but also brought, uh, you know, you know, there's a country. huge uh, explosion happening in um, South America and in Australia. Those two places right now are experiencing huge craft beer pushes and they're following suit of what's going on here in the United States. So it's, it's actually right. kind of really cool. Oh, yeah. One of the things that the Hop Up Network is doing is trying to expand its 
uh, podcast program to include foreign-based podcasts in different languages, from different countries, That's all badass. over. Nice. And just have it like this worldwide connection as opposed to just like this little connection here the in the United States. Type yeah, of, yeah, yeah. It's a very cool idea. Yeah. I could put you in touch with them. If you guys are doing a little more expansion, they're looking to do video oh, yes. as well. Oh, so that's cool. something you could Thanks. do. Yeah, that and with that said, Kern. Black and Kern. Yeah. Black and that's tans. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Kern, Kern's got I'll the... travel to South America. I'll put some Bonaco on my body. <laughs> I would love to do <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> what that's what I'm talking about. Bonaco. Why not? I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> I spritz it every morning. Get out of here. You stop Banaka? What are you talking about? That's why I smell so good. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. So you guys, you and Jay have been uh, doing your show from this area for quite some time. Uh, you so focus much on production value. Yeah. I mean, so much of the, the beer and everything around here. And I'm noticing you guys have been bringing in a lot of stuff from over the country and over the world, too. So tell us a little about how you guys are planning to expand and, and move forward. You know what? It was it's been a pretty interesting year. So it's, we kind of, we kind of wanted to expand into more of a all inclusive area of everyone kind of enjoying beer, not just beer itself, but an entire like culture around beer, right. food trucks, restaurants. What do you do after you leave a brewery? <laughs> like you know what you're gonna eat? Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Delicious garbage. Delicious yep. garbage. And most likely in New York. Yes. So, By the way, and, and, and not speaking about garbage. <laughs> everything from like but high quality barbecue to White Castle. Pretty right? much. And yeah. everything in between. Pretty much. We have uh, Momo's food truck out here. Yeah, and Momo's here. We had a uh, steamed dumpling. Oh, yeah. Delicious. I think he and I both more. inhaled. Hey, guess what I brought you guys? Ridiculous amounts of, of from momos. Kern's got donuts from, from at Lady Bake that was here today. Oh, they were donuts. Here today. Donuts. Ooh. For us to sample, we're going to crack into some Ooh, donuts. We're going to have some donuts. What are you talking nice. about? Like, Thank let's you. get it. Wait, we can't keep drinking all day long and have no donuts. I gotta have, Wait, a, donut. I gotta have a donut. What, what is what? this one? By so, the way, by the way, right, this yeah, one's yeah, like a strawberry the, uh, something something. It's such a fancy <laughs> box. Is there an iPhone inside? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's gold. <laughs> By the way, I I did actually happen to get the last cherry. Oh, I know. Donut. She told me about you. She told me about you. <laughs> right, she's like, you were that guy. She told me. She's like, look for the guy in the Rin and. She called her, She said Rin and Stimpy shirt. That is not Rin and Stimpy. <laughs> no, no. I'm that dressed appropriately for Fifth Hammer. That is a Simpson. Oh, that, is, that is a good one. Yeah. I have I have a hammer. That is itchy and scratchy. She did not know that. Yes. She did not I, know that. Yeah, it even says down here, by the way. I don't want to lift up she my shirt. Rin is, she's like, look Rin at that the guy. The Rin and yeah. He took the last one. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really enjoy you bleeping yourself out, by the way. I, I have to. <laughs> wow. Or else it'll be so, well, how good is that, right? What What is in that? I don't God know, but at Lady Bank said it was delicious. Like, there's it. lemon. No, there's like there's lemon, lemon in the frosting. There's raspberry. There's lemon. Here. Is that coconut? Very bright. Coconut one. I am. Hey, you guys try it. Coconut. coconut. Split that one. It's delicious Thank, too. Thanks so much. Thank for that. Yeah, man. You gotta. You can't have beer without donuts. Oh. I feel like that's a given. I mean, you could, but your day's right? better when you don't, right? right? So, so I took that cherry donut. Yeah. And I got the cherry hands. Ooh, the, uh, oh, okay. the farm, the barrel aged farmhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about that. Did you end up drinking that yet? Not yet. Oh, oh well. He worked on yet. Good pairing for sure. Oh, it's a lot of sweetness. It's a lot of sweetness. Personally, personally. Um, I have to agree that um, we had a, an, an assistant on the other side that said that the brown, they're brown over here. Mm-hmm. I don't, I do not recall the the fifth ham, the fifth hammer beer. That's a brown, uh, mm-hmm. the name of it, but it goes extremely well. That the more malty, one, yeah. more yeah. calmer f- flavor in comparison to the sugariness of it. Oh, fantastic! This one's really good. What do you? What, this is a coconut. Yeah, that's the coconut. It's really coconut good. One is really good. And then they have this like apricot jelly thing that came along. It was banana unreal. pina colada. Ooh. Ah, that's, that's the banana. I didn't. I didn't notice. Pina colada. What was that one? Now that we, we just had? need the rain. It's all good. Well, yeah. Yeah, no rain. Is there a description no rain. the bottom there? <laughs> I am gonna I'm gonna pass it to you guys. You guys taste that one. That one's oh, so good. That's something so different. Good. Oh so yes, good. Man. Oh man. That's what you need. You need you need like, beer, you need desserts. You and need then food. Want, wontons. Wontons. Mm. I need so many more dumplings. Steamed dumplings. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah these Sunday donut things are really, really, really good. Oh yeah. I really enjoyed it. So they opened at twelve. We were here a little before and then donut people were here right at twelve. They were opened up, and all of a sudden, they were just selling donuts immediately. People come for breakfast and a beer. No, this like is it. excellent. I mean, um, little kegs and, and eggs. That sounds <laughs> and eggs. For <laughs> it's it's like one of those things where you have, if you went, I you know what, I should have saved this sour here. If you went with the raspberry pigment, a uh, palate pigment, 
and then ended up with that lemon strawberry yes. donut. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would have yeah, been a good pairing, oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to get a pairing. cavity by the end of it, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. That's okay. It's totally it's worth delicious. It. Totally Sorry, worth boys. It. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a uh, the the wit right now. The wit is what I started. Oh, Rescue with. Dog Belgian wit started the day with, and it's is, delicious. That? Fantastic! Oh, oh so good. Oh man, the uh, Mike, Sonic. Uh, I actually thought it was I a saison, but the it was. I had today. Yeah. Belgian wit. So oh, far. Oh yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. I had the cranberry, the sour. More of a sour guy, but it was definitely right. solid. Did you try this one yet? You have that. I did not. Get you gotta get yeah. yeah. If you like sours, it's oh, very good. Oh yeah, oh, I'm. Good. I plans on picking up the uh, both the Sonic architectures. Yes. As well as that key line. Yeah, that I gotta bring. I gotta bring so that home for my wife. She's gonna lose her mind over I love, that. One. I love the Sonic <laughs> architecture, but the, right? I, I can't get into these sours. No. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still not there. You, ch- you gotta try uh, Which one? Uh, the Locus Local series. Uh, the Brewers Collective. They have a key lime sour. Oh yeah. Really goddamn. I good. love the Brewers Collective. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff out there. How about? How about how about we go practice together? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are a few breweries Simmons, and bars sugar, around here. We go practice, apricot, yeah. Yeah. drinking sours. Apricot. I'll you know? do it. <laughs> You're not gonna tell me no. It's be a whole day of sours. I'll just be grimacing, miserable. <laughs> That's also very good. That's a, there's a lot of sugar there, but the apricot. A lot of sugar, but the apricot. The apricot's really good. Taste that one. Take that one. So this is what I'm saying, like the local uh, food establishments, the local breweries, everything's like a big community. And I, let me finish my thought while I'm swallowing. Um, that donut. Can't no, eat no, it, talk, do a talk show. And for, yeah, and for us, <laughs> it's the best when you eat on air. It's the, let me just tell you. Yeah, the, the years the of experience, it. it's the best when you just eat all your food. Right, anyway, um, to bring the, the same, our community together as well. That's why we kind of said, and we reached out to you guys and said, we really want to have you guys come down and be part of this with us. Um, the, the networking connections, the people you talk to, the, oh, yeah. the, the guests we had on. Um, I, I know you just chatting it up with everybody, uh, having oh, your yeah. feet in the pool back here, yeah. you oh, guys yeah. hanging out. And, and that oh, yeah. baby pool was the best. Right, exactly. And having a good time. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. It's, a, it's part of what we all are about. We're yeah. just talking to people, hanging out, and getting the information that we need. Speaking, speaking of places like you know, brewers getting into like, kind of the food game, right? Mm. Uh, I was up in Maine, Portland, not too long ago, okay. and um, I went to this place called High Roller Lobster Co. They're dead center in Portland. Okay. And uh, one of the guys... High Roller the old, Lobster Co. Okay. Yes. They're one of the owners of Bissell Brothers. Ah, ah yeah, yeah, yeah. And those guys, those guys, one of them opened up a lobster joint. Kind of has this aspect of a... Johnny Rockets, kind of like that old school feel, simple, clean, white right. and red. A lot of great restaurants up there too in, in oh, Portland, Maine. Absolutely. Yeah. So naturally, I had to get the lobster roll. Fantastic. And true to them, they they picked out a fantastic beer list. Do you do the cold lobster roll or the hot lobster roll? Yeah, cold. Ooh, cold. cold. I prefer the hot cold. one. I'm not a male. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. I just, I just. I'm not, I'm not seasoned just, like you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking, it's buttered lobster and bread. I got it here. It's a uh, uh, high roller lobster. lobster co. Fresh lobster, fresh uh, brujol, fresh flavors, open 11 every day in Portland, Maine. And, uh, and, and a fantastic beer. beer. Number yeah. one, Bissell Brothers with other half. Triple IPA. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. That'll that get sounds you drunk. Good. I literally asked for a second, and oh. they said, <laughs> we ran out. Oh, oh, no. oh son of a bitch! Oh. I mean, yeah, you know what? How dare they? I was so we, heated. <laughs> we should grab our pitchforks and go back up there. That's right. Point. We should storm that like Area 51, right? Yeah, just see, everyone go in there. I want to see that triple IPA. Exactly. <laughs> you triple shall IPA. not serve. <laughs> we want triples now. Kern, you had um, you had a uh, big development that happened with you guys, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and your yes, let's, your yeah, show, let's quote that. unquote. So tell All us a little bit cheddar. about that. Yeah, I know. I mean, we were finally leaping from the uh, the web series world into actual television because uh, our show just got mm. picked up. Uh, by uh, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank That's you awesome. by the News Twelve Network. So you know, we're gonna it's it's bizarre because now we're gonna be traveling around the tri-state area, but we're also gonna be going a little bit. Uh, fully naturally yeah. with the show so it's, uh, it's going to be a lot more fun a lot more breweries a lot more laughs so we're looking forward to it and we're you know we're still working stuff out with, with that organization and the network and yeah. we're going to find out what, what time slot we're going to be landing in so it should be a lot of fun for us so they, that's awesome. that's going to be yeah. congratulations you, again yeah thank you yeah aired on uh, local television and then distributed nationally to yeah. their local um, 
subsidiaries or whatever yeah. they call them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They've got a couple other subsidiaries they want to run it through. So, you no, know, it's 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 all fun. It's like the, the more eyes, the better. So we're we're in that. We're, we're very happy. And with I'm it. sure in the world of information yeah. technology nowadays, a lot of it will be on the web too. So you'll oh, be able absolutely. to find it eventually. I hear yeah. the internet's a series of tubes. Yeah. yeah. Is that no, right? I hear the internet. <laughs> I hear the internet's where they put things. Yes. Yeah. And then people find those things them. and then they what look at the things. internet. Can you find that in Area 51? Thank, thank God for Al Gore inventing the internet. Right. Thank you, Al Gore. I thought it was Ross Perot. I didn't know it was. He, uh, no, I thought Al Gore was worried about climate I heard, control. So I heard a fun fact when Ooh. Ross Perot died. Yeah. Uh, so apparently he was a big supporter of the Navy SEALs. Yes. And liked them so much. And uh, after they killed Osama bin Laden, as a gift, the Navy SEALs presented him with bin Laden's fucking walking stick. Walking <laughs> stick? <laughs> Not like, that didn't happen. How? Did it happen? That happened. That's, that's pretty fucking cool. How awesome is that? Like, that's pretty fucking cool. We killed the motherfucker. Here's his goddamn walking, walking, walking stick. stick. Here's stick. Uh, what's <laughs> Ross Burrow going to do with that? Use it? <laughs> I mean, that's going to show up at an auction house now. He's just going to he's gonna direct How awesome music in his house as he's listening to it in his cabin. <laughs> I feel like he's going to frame oh. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> frame it. Yeah. Man. My greatest <laughs> dead terrorist. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is Very a better man. collectible. Lifetime I mean, Achievement oh, 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 Award. Achievement. That's what it is. <laughs> We'd like to present uh, exactly. you, Mr. Uh, your, the uh, Stick exactly. of Destiny. We it's found him. We killed him. Here's his stick. It's just right. <laughs> Obama oh, just, Obama just has oh, a bunch of drill guards. strikes. He's really? like, so Matt says before, oh, listen, um, you know, I don't know if you're looking to go home today at all, but uh, we have beer. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh is that what okay. they do here. So that's cool. Oh, that was Matt, is that what you guys make here? Beer? Beer? Get out of here. Uh, me. No, this First of all, I heard uh, about this. It's open. Uh, listen, we're going to take a quick break. Let's, let's uh, drink some more beer. Uh, this is the word with Mike and Pete. Thanks to the gentleman, the professor, and beer swipers. Yes, and beer swipers. Thank Thanks for black coming and tan on. TV. And yeah. Kerm, Black and Tan TV. Uh, check them, everybody out. Give us the big plug. Tell us where we can find you. Websites, all that other good information. Oh, uh, uh, basically, we're our home base is Instagram. Um, uh, beer swipers. You'll find us. Trust us. Okay. Uh, YouTube is is growing right now. Uh, that's gonna be our next channel. Um, and we're gonna be uh, putting out a, a website really soon. Nice. New yeah. things, new things coming out really soon. So just Take Google search your beer swipers as it goes, or you'll have the links in your Instagram. Absolutely. Nice. Warp, guys, guys, of Warp, Pete, Mike, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Thanks, man. For, thanks coming for coming on, man. Thank, so you, awesome. thank you for listening to us. Kern, give us the big plug. We know, we know, Black and Tan. But all uh, that cheddar, our all audience. that cheddar cheese. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can find us on Black and Tan TV on Instagram. You can find us on Black and Tan web series on YouTube Ooh. because Lord knows someone else took Black and Tan TV. Did they? Whoever that no. person is. Uh, Whatever. I'll it wasn't it. me, I promise. It wasn't me. <laughs> but yeah, you can find us on all those platforms and eventually you'll find us on uh, a specific channel to be determined. Ooh. TBD. Quote on quote. TBD on that one. Cheers. Hi, <laughs> gentlemen. Right. I appreciate it. This Thank is the world Mike Mike at PeakGhostRadio.com. We shall be back right after this. Thank you. We just missed Hey, it's the word with Mike at PeteGovsRadio.com. I'm going to turn down Mike 4 for a minute just to so nobody's sitting there. And uh, we're, we're back here at Fifth Hammer Brewing Company in Long Island City with our buddy, Matt. Matt Arshambo. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Hey there. I know. Coming sorry. in hot. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull you down a little bit. It's all right. I, 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 I tend to ride the levels because as we're talking, people are coming in. It's a little bit of a low right now because the, all the people that were standing there are gone. So right. I have you... Right now, dialed in. <laughs> um, we'll start off by saying thank you so much for having Dude, us. Dude, you set this up is, so much for us. Like, this like is, we <laughs> besides the besides the beer. I mean, the the space, the the view. I've been looking out over this nice little uh, Brooklyn City block yeah. uh, all day. It's been awesome. Uh, buddies came down. Everyone's enjoying their time. We had you know all the people you brought down. Uh, the beer swipers and Kern. It's been like a really cool collection of people. I agree, that man. That we tried to put together. And then, uh, again, thank you so much for everything. It's Dude, been it was awesome. my pleasure. I was super excited when I found out that you were uh, coming down. And I, you know, it, it was fun because I kind of pulled together a bit of the New York City beer and brewery community. Right. Um, yeah. And it's not the brewers and the owners. It's some of the people who are like. The people's people. Actually, like, making this thing happen yeah, on, the, on, yeah. the, on the front lines. Exactly. All right, Professor Later. Professor from the Beer Swipers, he's saying goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it's like I said, a cool collection of, of people, like you said. It's, it, the, uh, the people that are really, uh, as much as we highlight the brewers and talk about the owners, it's the people that are here in 98 degrees 
sweating behind different, the bar. Different perspective. It's yeah. 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 Uh, that's a very, very cool angle. I like and it. It's, I appreciate it's, it. And, like, you know, the people who you we, you spoke with today have worked for multiple breweries. Some yes, of the best yeah. beer bars in the city. So interesting, the, the, the girls, uh, how long they've been doing this and how invested they are into this industry. It's very, very cool. Yeah, you know, from what I understand is that uh, women in beer uh, have a a stronger than normal showing in New York City. Yes, There's good. a lot of women in beer. Um, Pete was telling a story before where um, he, he was told to, you know, go down to the end of the bar and talk to the brewer, and he went down to a woman at the end of the bar and goes, She really gave me a look like, like, why, like, why, why would, would you, you think, talk? no, I'm not the fucking brewer. I'm like, <laughs> why wouldn't you be? Yeah. <laughs> you definitely could be. It's yeah. just... Is nothing different than having, uh, you know, a man or a woman brewing the beer. But. Well, we've got a husband and wife team here, uh, cool. Chris yeah. and Mary. Chris Kuzmi is the head brewer, and mm-hmm. uh, Mary works uh, in a lot of roles here. Uh, she's heading up sales, but she touches everything. But she's super involved with what happens gotcha. in the brewery, too. And those two came from home brewing and yeah. have, like kind of put this whole program together here. So tell us a little about what's going on behind us. So everyone on YouTube that's been sitting here has been watching us and seeing what's going on behind us. So give us a little rundown of uh, Fifth Hammer and what the capacity is and yeah. everything that you guys got going here. And tell us a little about those big boys, those yes. oh, brand man. new big boys in there. Yeah, so I mean, we're, the the short of it is we're a 15-barrel brew house. We've got, uh, I think, four 30-barrel fermenters and two 15-barrel fermenters. Okay. But those beautiful wood uh, barrels that you see there. Mm. Those are 37 barrel new American oak fermenting fooders. Um, Fooders, that's right. I've been mispronouncing it all day. All night. I was mispronouncing it my whole life until I was (laughs) corrected about a month ago. Who made made those for you? Uh, That's Fooder Crafters of America. They're based out of St. Louis. Unbelievable. Mm. World class craftsmanship. Um, These have stainless steel uh, conical bottoms which means that besides them being very rare um, this I've, I've heard there's less than 20 of these in existence wow. right now that's crazy but what's cool is you know to pick up two weeks of barrel uh, aging yeah. you can do it while you're fermenting right in so the you're, barrel you're shaving your time in the brewing process shaving the time and yeah. uh, it's just way Getting more the beer convenient out for people faster yeah yeah and yeah. of course much more capacity within the brew yeah. house and yeah so now we have you know, 60 or 70 more barrels that we can be fermenting at a given time, which, um, you know, we're growing. That's awesome. We're coming up on our two-year anniversary this September. Um, Wow, really? Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it was a little shorter, but that's that's pretty amazing. Time flies. Well, you know, it's funny because, like, uh, we're we're part of the newer class on the block, you know, the the older school of, like, Rockaway and Single Cut and mm-hmm. LIC Beer Project. Um, they've been around for five and six years, that kind of range. Right. But now there's a lot of breweries in the city that are two, around the two-year mark. And speaking about nice. the local ones, you put together this uh, really cool concept yes. of the uh, LIC Brewery Trail. We'll take a picture of this and post this up on uh, our Instagram. Everyone can take a look at it. Thank you. But it's a, a nice little postcard where you can go to each individual brewery in the trail get a stamp, and then get rewarded for taking the trip. And you don't have to do it all in one day. You can yep. do it over a course of time, like you said. And you got uh, the likes of Rockaway, Big Alice, Iconic, um, LIC, and Alewife, uh, uh, another brand new uh, man on, or woman on the block. Yeah, right? yeah. That's a, that's a husband and wife team that owns that. It is, that. right? Yeah, yep. yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, it, it's it's one of those ones that is starting to get a lot of recognition. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the cans and, and stuff are being sold uh, and distributed Fairly statewide, national wide at this point, and it's getting a lot of traction. Yeah, so. I'm super into their beers, man. Self decapitation, yeah. great. great uh, I like uh, Electric Rhino. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was good. Mm-hmm. I had that. That's one. just a great name. <laughs> <laughs> their names are so good. Right? What did I have? Ah, uh, fuck, I'm gonna pick it up. I yeah, he's got to go look really it up. Good. So, yeah. um, I really want to talk about that LIC Brewery Trail. Yes. At Long Island City, it's not in Long Island, really. It's nope. in Queens. It's one stop from Grand Central. And there are six breweries on a two-mile walking trail. So two miles of walking, you do a, a beer on each one. That's six beers over the course of a day. Right. I, I honestly think that's just that's such like a great breakfast. time. Yeah. <laughs> and every right? single one is so unique. Every single one has all sorts of different variety on their menu. So you can go through right. and have, like, a really unique experience. Yeah. I mean, for what, what you – ooh, see, you almost did it again. Because the mic is blocking it, so I almost <laughs> don't see it. Um, well, once you put together here, it, it, it's great little lineup, um, and it 
looks like it skirts, you know, the, the views of, of Manhattan, and it's a great little walking trail, good uh, neighborhood. Super easy to a get here of by stops. train. A couple stops. I was going to say the, uh, the 7 ends, the E kind of drops you off fairly close. The F will drop you off at LIC if you want to start there. Yep. So a lot of options to kind of get through your trail and, and you yeah, know, you know, earn your beer. You know, you know, it's happening on Long Island, too. Like, beer is becoming a bigger part of the culture yes, of the city. Absolutely. And um, It's the way it was for a long time in, like, the 20s and 30s and, and stuff like that. Although, so. I, you know, back then, I'm, you know, I'm, I, unless I'm wrong, you couldn't go to a brewery and, like, taste their stuff, you know? No, no everything like, had to be go. These, these were production breweries yeah. that were, like, close to the uh, to the public. So I think we're in a kind of a new zone now. Which is very cool. And, yeah. and, and it does require a little bit of uh, regulation and stuff like that. But as we all adapt to that, and move forward and see where the best you know setup can be then we'll, we'll get there and it'll yeah. be really awesome um so tell us uh, a little bit about the space and everything you guys got here uh, yeah, dude. like i said i know you got the brewing equipment and you told us about that um tell us about the tap room and everything that goes on here because you're basically in charge of all of that yeah I'm as you're sitting the- back here with your feet in the pool for the last two hours <laughs> you're technically in charge of what's going on over there that's so right yeah tell us a little about those responsibilities well, he's we- running it so well <laughs> that he can be in a kiddie pool all day. that's, that's right fine. Fantastic. Look, He's we've a got great a, manager. We've got a killer vibe here. The the tap room is we've got a five thousand square foot space. Mm. Half of it is the uh, the brewery side. The other half is the cold room and then the tap room. So we've got a little over two thousand square feet. Wow, it's a good. large tap room. Yeah, for this. Uh, for the city and you guys opened up right at 12 and you've been busy since you've yeah. got a uh, pretty packed on a hundred degree day a pretty packed um yeah. you know tap room all day it you know awesome. i think there's something about the vibe here and i think um some of it is the way we run it and the way we hire yeah. uh, we have a killer staff but i think part of it is uh people were ready for it yeah i think people are super excited to learn about beer know where it's coming from you know, people are drinking less and less these days. People are drinking less and less beer. But the people who Why? are drinking it, are <laughs> <laughs> the people who are drinking it love to come to the source. Yes. And I think, you know, if you went around and asked people, uh, where is this beer made? Uh, you know, what's the difference between these styles? I don't think people are coming here because they're beer nerds. No. They're no, coming they're coming here because they like what they're tasting. Because they like the beer. And, they come and, down, they like the vibe and the And, and the, they can the tell taste. it's unique, you know? Yes. You can go and get a Sam Adams, more power to Sam Adams I'm from New England. You can get that in so many bars, but now they can say like, oh man, at, at my spot, they had this one beer this one this time. This beer was made, you know, a half mile from my fucking yeah, house. It's a, <laughs> yeah, it's like, a personal it, no, connection. It does make yeah. sense. Yeah. By the way, 10 minutes later, I found the beer from Alewife that I had. Okay, which was? Uh, Death to Ego. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was really another good one. Totally. Agreed. Um, so uh, let us uh, jump into this uh, tap lineup that you have here. So yeah. Tell us a little bit about the diversity of uh, from dark to browns to barrel age to all the stuff. So you got to let me know a little bit. Yeah. So one of the advantages to selling most of your beer through the tap room Mm. is that we don't have to like focus on the the most commonly purchased beers by bars. Yeah, we can like have a broad range of styles. And one of the things that the owners really care about is inclusion, diversity, yep. and being welcoming to people of all stripes. Uh, and so having a diverse lineup on the tap list, super important. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, would, you, would you serve me from the first uh, moment to now ending up being one of the last moments is the wit. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I don't think terrific. I've had a wit that tasted like that. Very oh, unique. Man. Yeah, very and uh, different than, yeah. Really Very stands neat. out. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And you know, it's things. funny because people come in and um, they'll they'll have a four pack from LIC. They'll mm-hmm. have four packs from other half, and then they stop in here because they heard of us, and they go, "What do you recommend?" And I'm like, uh, "Our half of eyes." Yeah. And they're like, so like, they're like, well, I'm thinking about IPA. And I'm like, "Listen, man, this is hazy. It's full flavored. It's not crazy dry. I mean, it actually does push some of the buttons of haze bros, you know." And by the way, I. Love hazy IPA. Right. Yeah, who doesn't? Yeah. He he They're didn't use for a reason. And now he does. No, I didn't. I used to not like IPAs, and and those those hazy juice bombs are what got me to you know open my horizons a little bit yeah. and uh, try some different IPAs. Right. So I, I was just in Portland for the last week Ooh. or so, and there you know the hazy IPAs on the West Coast, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, yeah, Oregon, yes. and the hazy IPAs in Denver and stuff. Every once in a while, you find one that's all right, but they're not like as good as they are out here and on Long mm. Island and stuff. But Man, 
They had some awesome, old-fashioned, bitter, West piney Coast. West Coast oh, IPAs. Yeah. And I was like, I wish I could get See, something those are things, like, I like can't, that here. And where do you even find it anymore? I, I, th- those are the ones I can't get into. I, yeah. I have a tough time with those. You yep. know what I started with? I started with like, things like Sierra Nevada. Mm-hmm. I started with Stone. Yep. You know, those West Coast, like, super bitter. I'm like, wow, this is really something special. Yeah. So, I'm, someone got me, like, a mixed six-pack. Like, someone in my family bought me a mixed six-pack. And one of the ones, Dogfish, 60-minute IPA, yeah. which, which is... I've never had it yep. because I'm not an IPA fan, and I'm, like, afraid to drink it because I'm afraid of being less than because if I don't like it, I'll be like, <laughs> maybe I'm not a maybe. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is with, with, with beer, like. I have like, to drink this to fit in. Back when we were doing the IBU Wars, uh, we it was a small selection of, like, you know, middle-income white dudes who were, like, bored with Bud Light, and we were drinking, and we all dug those bitter beers. That's true. But now. The scene has widened. Yes. There's a lot more kinds of people drinking. And a lot more kinds of styles. Yeah. It's better for the from. industry, too. Yeah. And not that those styles didn't exist before. They just weren't popular before. That's right. So now we're bringing them forward, highlighting them, and showing everybody what beer is capable and of being. And it's very common now in the tap room for people who don't even know anything about beer, for them to come in and go, I am excited to try your stuff. I want to try mm. a bunch of short pours. Oh, nice. Just so you know, I don't like bitter. I don't like, ho- I don't like IPA. I don't mm. like hops. Uh, it's very common it's now yeah. because there's people who are looking for different stuff. Yeah. And so right now we... They so, burned out on it. Yeah. Anyway, maybe. So we yeah, always have our neighbor brow Pilsner on tap. Yeah. This summer we're trying to keep three sours, fruit, simple fruited sours this on at a time. This one was delicious, by the way. So good. This was so good. Raspberry, the raspberry key, key lime. lime. Palette pigment. Yeah. I'm going to grab Cans some of that Cans are available yeah, now. I'm definitely going, going home with a couple of those. My wife will love that. If That's you live delicious. in New York City, tell your... Uh, bartender that you want Fifth Hammer beer. Fifth Hammer beer. Yeah. There you go. That's an easy a little one. little sales push. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you should, Dad. That's why we're doing this, right? <laughs> Anyone that lives within the city limits of Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan, and Staten Island, make sure you tell your local bartender, get some Fifth Hammer beer on there. So Just, let's see. So, so we've got three IPAs, yep. all different um, ABVs, three different sours. So you have, wait, the architecture, there's two different waves of the architecture, yes. right? So you have one with Amarillo and then one with, what's the other? Uh, the other one is uh, Citra yes. and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a, they're both they're like a, blend. a little different in each mm-hmm. of their own, but they both have a really good base. So it's, it's You really know, we, we're going to start, can, we're canning now once a month, essentially. And we yeah. wanted to put a new IPA every time. And frankly, it's, just, it's a new hot blend, but we're kind of brewing, you know. Just a killer IPA. Yeah. So we went with the Sonic Architecture series. So Sonic Architecture. You can always yeah. tell what we're. You can always Putting have the newest way. thing. Ooh. Yeah. The, that's uh, what everyone in this fucking in, the, anyone that's into craft beer, that's what they want is the newest thing. Yeah. Yep. That's it. They're seeking it because I mean, they're very here and now industry in that. I am respect. humiliated to admit. I went to Cascade in Oregon, just you know, the house of American sour, and. They had IPA on the list, and I was like, what? Cascade is selling IPA? <laughs> and so I bought an IPA, and people were, like, making fun of me. And I'm like, I have to try Cascade's yeah, yeah. version of an IPA because it's the newest thing. Yep. And? <laughs> it, was, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious, of course. Although, I, was. I, you know, it, it should have been one more sour, you know. I remember when things like Mount Hood hops were a big thing. You don't find that much anymore. Now it's the hot hop, the hot, uh, the newest thing. Like you said, um, Moika, Marik, whatever. Yeah, Motueka or yeah, the uh, Galaxy, man. Galaxy is like sold out for like a oh, year yeah. and a half. Yeah, you got to find Galaxy. It's crazy. Hmm. Um, Just big breweries who, who pre-purchased them years ago and are Ni- the ones who have them now. Yes, correct. Enigma, uh, New Zealand hops are getting big. So, yeah. you know, this... It, it just goes and comes in and out of trending and yeah. hey, whatever you said, it's about uh, the availability of it and the growing cycle and whether they can keep up with demand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy. Well, uh, the, the tap room anyways is yeah. like, it's just hopping. <laughs> it's just hopping. And there's so many people in the, in the neighborhood who just really appreciate having a second space. I mean, there, we have regulars who are dogs. Um, it's like actual dogs? Yeah, no, no, actual dogs. Actual, actual dogs, dogs. Not yeah. like Randy Jackson. What's up, dog? <laughs> no, not like that. Honestly, dog, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't. <laughs> you know what, dog? And by the way, we're drinking Yards beers now. Yes, we are. Because, um, so one of the benefits of working, one of the perks of working in a brewery is sometimes breweries will stop by, like the whole brewing staff of Brooklyn Brewery. Nice. Just swung by a couple weeks hey, ago. Why not? Just hanging out on a Saturday. Um, so Yards stopped by uh, yesterday and brought by a case. Yep. Of uh, 
a, a mix a case of all sorts of stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. summer crush right now which and is, uh, champion ale right? which I, champion ale was very good it was uh almost like on an amber feel uh, very malt forward um yes. the summer crush is a citrus wheat so that's another one that's that it so to put it in perspective we're a, a 15 barrel brew house we brew 15 barrels at a time yep uh, they that's are 30 a... kegs <laughs> They are a 100 barrel Holy brew house, shit. so they're brewing 200 kegs at a time, just yeah. cooking. Yep. Um, they have a whole different a restaurant, world. several restaurants, I think, right? There's multiple restaurants. I don't know much about them, to be honest, except I, I like their beer a lot. Yeah, I think there's one in Baltimore, and then there's one in Philly, and then their brew house is the central station is in Philly, Yeah. and they distribute it throughout Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. You can find it occasionally up here, but not as much as you could find other things. Um, it's one of the things I heard of, and they've been around for a long time. They've been around for, I'm gonna say 10 years. Let's yeah, see well, you don't says. get to 100 barrels very quickly. No, established in 1994, so they've been around wow. for quite some time. Yeah, jeez, um, 25 years, years. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought at least 10 years, but that's, that's going above and beyond. And, and I went to school down in Maryland, so oh, I, nice. I have heard of them back in the day, like in a beer distributor or a packy. I just had my first, What's that beer that has like the Orioles featured on the can? It's oh, like a I classic know. Maryland beer. It's like a light, you know, American yeah. adjunct light Is that beer. Is from yeah. Flying Dog? No, no, no. It's like not crafty. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's just a straight up Orioles. Just some beer, Maryland, yeah. yeah. Ah, well, anyway. And was it good? Yeah, it was like a. Yeah, yeah, it was beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> beer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean, I'm, I'm spoiled because yeah, I get I out of work yeah. here and I have. I walk in one mile in any direction, and I've got a bunch of breweries to choose from. Long Island City, man, we've got John Brown Smokehouse, world-class mm. barbecue with a great beer list. We've got the ferry that now you can like get to Brooklyn real yes, fast. Yeah, yeah. MoMA PS1, it's like, you know, not not to promote too hard, but people on Long Island could totally come to Long Island City for yeah, a day not? and have yep. a day of it. It was a 45-minute drive for us. Yeah, not a big deal. And you can also you like take the, uh, the Long Island Railroad just to Woodside, pop over on the seven, seven yep. and you yep. could like go back a little sloshy, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, that? So, what's the future? What's 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 going on here in the upcoming uh, weeks, months, years? What yeah, we got? we've got a Christmas in July party coming up. Where we're doing in our no AC tap room, but we've got huge <laughs> fans. When it's not ninety eight degrees, listen, tomorrow's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be gorgeous. Yes, yeah, be perfect. Uh, we we're doing. Uh, a selection of six. And by the way, as we say that, I, I'm watching people walk out of the tap room and they're adjusting their pants because they're probably all stuck, <laughs> stuck to their asses. They're just pulling their pants down. Like, oh my god, it's just, everything's stuck to There's my ass. There's another one. Yep. 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 See, I told right? Crash. right? I, yeah. I like that character. Yeah. Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's all over me. It's, I gotta get it done. I like uh, the sour. Yeah, sour is so good. Let me pull my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, so, anyway. so we're doing uh, Christmas an, in July. We've yes. got a new Imperial <laughs> Porter, a 12% dessert porter. Wow. My that we're doing a cherry vanilla version. That's going to be on. We've got mm. a barrel fermented Belgian strong ale that is glorious. Yes, mm-hmm. please. A barrel fermented a Norwegian farmhouse with tart cherry. Uh, we've got our 2017 Iron Lotus Imperial Stout. Iron Lotus. Uh, Sounds like Wu Tang Clan. You know, we're like only album. two years old. This is as old as it gets for <laughs> yeah. us. You know, <laughs> going uh, all the way back to 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we've got burka, burka, burka. just some epic, like wintry beers that we're about to tap. Uh, we also have a dog event. We do dog events here. Okay. So we've got another one coming up. I've got a dog. We're doing oh. one with the. We're gonna have tons of dogs here. We're gonna have dog ice cream. The ASPCA is gonna be here. Running I would love an info to know more booth. about dog ice cream. The Pupper Cup. Pupper Ooh. Cup. They there will be go. here selling their wares. It's good stuff. Wow. Yeah, when so. is that? Uh, August 19th. It's a Monday. You'll be away. Actually, I'm off no, that you'll, day. You'll be home, actually. I had to take off that day. Yeah. Dude, if your dog's social. Uh, so He's we had not a, yet, and that I'm working on. Yeah. <laughs> we had a dog pageant uh, a couple months ago. There was a casual wear uh, trick. And an interview portion. Hmm. See, I'm not no. And they were no like casual. I'm not dressing up. Forty five dog. dogs here competing. It was <laughs> amazing. Oh my God. That's 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 a lot of dogs here. That's a lot of entries. Uh, this one looks like Burt Reynolds. This one. Looks- <laughs> 
that'd be ridiculous. Very casual wear. <laughs> and uh, oh, you know, what? I should say too, um, we're we're uh, we've partnered with Hop Culture, um, a beer media company. Nice. They do a Beers Without Beards Women in Beer Festival. Okay. And last year, honestly, it was like the best beer festival of the whole freaking year. It's now, what if you're a bearded lady? At the Are you West. still <laughs> invited? Can to you attend? still be allowed? <laughs> yes, to come. bearded ladies and men and any kind <laughs> of right, person's right. allowed. Because um, by the way, I cut my beard and now it's starting to grow back in, but I got to cut it again because I'm going away and then it's just I can't keep it in. I noticed. I noticed on the bathroom it. side it said humans welcome. Yes. So right. I think Ted Cruz would be disappointed. Look, yes, you know, would. probably we're, we're okay. in this great age of beer right now where it's like it's not just people who look exactly like all no. the three of right. us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Like it actually is expanding like super well, and yeah. um, we see more a, the merrier. A, a great eclectic version. Uh, uh, grouping of people that come through and yeah. hang out and it's that's awesome yeah and and more women than we ever thought there would be yeah at, at a craft you know brewery and why yes. the fuck not it's good totally yeah no it's the same it's awesome um so give us the big plug where can we anyone find you where are beer we beer practice on instagram ah, well beer we know practice. where matt is <laughs> matt is at beer practice on instagram twitter facebook or whatever yeah but fifth give hammer. us the uh, fifth hammer information yeah basically the best thing you can do is go to instagram uh fifth hammer beer yeah. um that's f-i-f-t-h fifth hammer beer um, and the best thing you can do too is to come out to the tap room and check it out for yourself exactly that's yeah. why we want to come down space. here yep this is really very cool. Like even at 98, nine degrees, it, I'm okay. Yeah. I, I mean, we've we've jumped into the cold box like 15 times. <laughs> I have no regrets about that. No, we don't. But I'm I, going right. But back even there. sitting here, it's it's not so I bad. I hope people know this. So the cold a cold room in a brewery in restaurants they call them walk-in fridges yes. because they do put the a big box in there and you just walk into a fridge. Mm -hmm. This is a room that's paneled and built like any yeah, other storage. room, and it's 35. Or 34 degrees in it there. It is freezing. It's so I cold. I went in there. It was nice, but I, I couldn't go more than like five or ten minutes because my I could feel it freezing yeah. on me a little bit. And by the way, even when it's 99 degrees in here, uh, our glycol machine keeps that beer at 31 degrees. Jesus. Just under freezing, it hits the glass. Working overtime Probably. today, for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We'll be paying for that. That's crazy. <laughs> Well, Matt, again, thank Thanks you so, so much. much. Yes, this, this is, is awesome. you guys. You coming down here? I feel like this just became a Sunday party because of you nice. guys. Oh. And I'm super psyched that you brought your friends. Oh, My friends, friends had a blast. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for that. No, thank you thank very you for much for organizing everything. Yeah. This we'll is take awesome. a we'll take quick uh, dick pics and then we'll get out. <laughs> All right. Of here. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're gonna be sweaty. Get, <laughs> yes. <laughs> My nose is a little brown. <laughs> sweaty dick pics, but we'll get them out there. Uh, this is the world of Mike at PeteGoesRadio.com. You know, we'll do one little last segment with the boys really fast. Uh, thanks a lot for everyone for joining us here at Fifth Hammer Brewery. Check them out on Instagram. It's Fifth Hammer Beer, Beer, not brewery, uh, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and also you can just Google search it and you'll find it. Come on down, man. It's an easy trip if you're in the tri-state area. Beautiful spot. Great place to hang out. LIC Great Brewery hangout. Trail. Six breweries, two-mile walk. Yeah, exactly. And we got we to gotta talk about uh, getting a keg out to um, uh, Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Yes, Mark yes. Hopscotch. Yes, that'd be great. He'll, uh, he'll definitely take one of those. He's been uh, diversifying his portfolio, as I was saying. Mm. So you got to check it out. Um, we'll be right back uh, with some uh, hijinks and some nonsense, uh, literally directly after this. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. This is the word of Mike at PeteGoesRadio.com, broadcasting live. Live, I said, from Fifth Hammer Brewing Company in Long Island City. Uh, we just want to uh, come back on really quick and wrap up a few things that we failed to mention. Um, so Ma Matt Archambeau uh, uh, was our guest just in the last segment and wanted us to mention that Brood in New York, all the episodes are now available on YouTube. Yes. Uh, I have you on. Sorry. My bad. Uh, they are available on YouTube. So go on to YouTube, type in Brood in New York and uh, check it out. Um, and all the episodes from that first season are there, and he's looking to kind of shop around the next season and see what happens. So we're uh, highly anticipating that. And then I also want to get my buddy uh, Nicky Nux, Nux from Queens. Knocking down pork buns like it's a Oh, job. my God. He, I think he just inhaled that entire pork bun. I don't blame him. Wipe your face and come on air. Hey, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I'm going to get an order of cold sesame noodles and eat them in your car. Are you? That's I fine. Might. No, you should. Um, this has been an uh, unbelievable experience. A lot of fun. Um, great, great place, great yeah. vibe, great everything. What, is, uh, what, did, what did you enjoy the most here, Pete? Uh, probably the Belgian wit, but I, I got to have the farmhouse one before I leave. Oh, you better get that soon because we're about to, yeah. about to start packing it in and scooting out and then start sweating like a, 
you know. I got time. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have much. I'm, I'm going to get a port, and then I'm going to go to the cold box. And I'm gonna yeah, well, <laughs> I think that'll be happening right before we leave. Is I'll, I'll pack up, and then we'll drag the shit down the block, and then we'll jump in the cold box before we get on the road. Hey, and just in time, Chris, Chris. one of the owners, has just showed up. So uh, we'll get him on air really fast before we get out of here. Um, possibly. Yeah, possibly. Let's see if he's available. Nick, come on. No, my, Nick. Oh, God Nick. damn it. Stop with the goddamn food. We left the food. <laughs> we left our food so we can get on air. No, stop it. Oh, son of a bitch. He's still putting down pork something. I don't even. What was it? Pork buns? Pork buns. Pork buns. I don't know what those are. They look delicious. Uh, they do. They did on the picture. I don't know if I saw it, what it was live. Um, no, 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 no. Stop. Put it back over there. Put it back over there. We're not going to eat on air. I mean, I would. You said you wanted to get on air with us, so I wanted to get you on air. Bring the beer. Sit over here. Yeah, don't walk through the cable. There you go. This is a mess. How long have you been here? Like an hour and a half? No. Hurry no. up. We want to get no. out of here. Oh, God so damn let's it. go. Oh, God damn it. So uh, you enjoyed the, the wit? I did. Like I did, yeah. I'm going to enjoy the traffic on the way home. and uh, It's not that bad. It's, Sunday, it's Sunday, but it's, it's still... You know, not uh, Saturday, which is usually less than Sunday. Any day, and, and Nick's here to, to <laughs> join us. Thanks a lot for coming in, buddy. So Nick and the uh, the boys uh, came down uh, today to visit us and uh, so show their support for the Wirt. And Nick has been a uh, guest on the show a few times and has called in several times. Yes, you were a special co-host down in AC Beer Fest. So he uh, participated in all that. It was really very cool. Pete missed a great time. I did. It was. Are we invited back? Uh, We are. Yes. yes, I already put him interested. As much as uh, I think Rob's done with doing the uh, the Hopped Up Network, I still think we'll have our. No, we still have our invite. Really? Because we did a great job. Directly. Down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, we'll be back down there. We're the shit. Yeah. We're the shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the shit. yeah we are. Um, we're going. We're going. And you know what, Pete? You got to come this time. I'll be there next we time. We should do the yeah. run. We should do the run. I don't want to do the, the run. Radio. No, no 5K race Let's on the road. Let's talk about it. By run, good, do you mean like the logistics run? of that just sounds stupid? Do you if you mean a beer runner actual physically yes. running. If you yeah. could pull that off with video, we could get no. a GoPro, no. like hang it on Pete's back, and you can no, hang it on Mike's pack. And nope. Pete could, no, you could just like see Pete that. running the whole track mm-hmm. with a beer in his hand. Not like Come on. Nope. Come on. I Listen, don't run. Uh, here's, Come on. here's what I want to ask you. are going to need that after number three. You've been number drinking Pete. here for a little while. What, what's <laughs> been your <laughs> beer after number three? What's been your favorite beer on tap so far? What did you have that really stood out? I, I, you know what? It's hard to call. They, they, they really, honest to God, I, Fifth Pack has been out of this world. Yeah. Out of this world. Everything I've tried today. The Tangelo, the Tangelo, the, wig, the cream ale was really good. The yeah. cream, the cream. You know, when do you where do you go get a cream that you have? I've gone back three times and got that Tangelo. It's amazing. Nice. Get the money, dollar orange, dollar bill, yo. Orange cream, like a cream cigar. That's right. And then, um, oh my God, everything. The Chipotle I started with. Ooh, and, okay, that's a good one. Chipotle, yeah, I had some of that. Um, Chipotle brown, but yeah. it wasn't too spicy, right? Yeah, it's good. good. Uh, we in, we we had the wit. We really like the wit. That's wit. something if you want to try. Wit. And I'm gonna grab a couple of things to go because I gotta have everything before I leave. Yeah. Do they have that to go? I don't oh, know. Oh, they have beer to go. Yeah. Then I saw it, but I not the wit. No, they have the no. uh, both of the you have a architectures. Do you have a growler? Uh, no, that's all right. I don't need that. Um, the architect, <laughs> both the sonic architectures and um, the sour. I'm gonna take that definitely to go. Absolutely. You got yeah, he's guess. on. I'm gonna get him. All right. Um, so. What if uh, you've never been down to here? No, I have. I have several times. Oh, you, I, yeah. oh. I bought Buckley here last time. We went to Casa Enrique around the block. And ah. We got our heads blown off. We bought some <laughs> spicy mole, and <laughs> I think our heads like melted in the restaurant there. So I and did, you, did you come yeah. back for another pint or something? To, to no, we didn't, and we should have. You yeah. know, but I think I stopped for a slice after that. I think I got like a like a vodka slice over here. Nice. Vernon. Vernon is a hopping scene. Man. What we have on. Uh, Mike right now and just joining us back from his gig <laughs> live for the last few hours uh, Chris uh, one of the owners here at a fifth hammer brewing company thanks a lot we stayed long enough for you to make it back all right thank you very much <laughs> it did take us thanks for hosting it took us a little while to um to, to get going uh, some technical issues but once we got going we were going 
and that's why we're still broadcasting here at 4.30 right. in it's the great. afternoon. Right so here. thanks a lot. How's the gig? Everything go well? The gig was good, man. It was cool. So yeah. uh, it's, uh, basically, Manukata Rustica is a restaurant down on Vernon. Okay. Uh, and the lady Gianna and her family have had these restaurants for a very long time. She, Some people call her the mayor of, of uh, Long Island City. Uh-huh. Little, little thing. She's a great person to know. And Just she's, been in the neighborhood for so local, long. Yeah. And, yeah. She supports the community and the people I was playing with. as a kind of a Long Island City crew. Uh, 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 Martin Kelly, piano right. player, really great guy, great teacher, big double IPA fan. Like, whatever <laughs> we play, he's always looking for oh, double IPA. Who is it? So he should show up here any minute because like Mandicata is great, but they don't have any double IPA. So I'll see you at the brewery. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. it. Um, give us a little bit of a brief history of how this all got started uh, between you and your wife. Correct? Uh, no. Uh, oh. My, me and my wife have been brewing together a long time. We met yeah. through the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Oh, okay. um, but this project was kind of an extension of, of just our life together. We ended up uh, meeting a, a gentleman by the name of David Sharfstein. And so uh, he is a recovering lawyer. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no longer wanted to, to be, be lawyering and uh, had the idea to uh, open a craft beer bar or buy a craft beer bar. In his searches for a place, he stumbled upon a place that I was working at that we had just we were in the process of selling our lease or, or getting rid of it because mm-hmm. um, the lease was up and they wanted to, to double it up and just what didn't, wasn't sustainable for the model that we had. <coughs> mm. Basement restaurant brewery uh, called Five White Gastro Brewery. His broker brought him to that place after I'd already closed everything down. Like there were like two weeks left <laughs> there. I was gone out of town and uh, he found out that actually the lease had already been taken, oh. um, but he fell in love with the place. He's like, oh man, this place is amazing. Why aren't there more breweries in New York City? Blah, blah, blah. And he was lamenting the fact that, and he had a beer, he loved the beer. He even Then he found out that it, the place had already been sold, uh, so he, but he stuck around and had another beer. And he was lamenting this fact to his friend maybe a couple days later, and his friend was like, wait, where was that spot? I was down in Soho. I, I just took a tour there, and I met the brewer. He was really nice, and, and I think I have his card in my pocket. <laughs> and Dave was like, you have to give me that card. So <laughs> he gave Dave my card, and, uh, and then I'm in Hong Kong. My family is in Hong Kong. I was, you know in this kind of transitional place. What am I going to do after after Five White Gastro Brewery? Mary and I were starting a brewery called uh, Cousette Libations, Libations, where okay. we wanted to do fermentations of all different kinds. And so the, pr- the plan there was to kind of contract brew for a little bit until we started something else. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Or until we actually had a place to do it physically. Uh, but we didn't have any capital to start that at all. That's we're, usually the case. We weren't, yeah. re- weren't necessarily gung-ho for that either because Mary had a good gig day job that kind of supported other things at the time so and you anyway, give I'm, a lot I'm, of that time I'm up. in that transitional place and uh, visiting my family for Christmas being, what am I going to do when I get back where are we going next it's really nice to be here just like the breath random of phone air. call random <laughs> email as I'm talking to my mother in the living room I hear this <laughs> bling you've got she mail wait no wait, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got mail uh, <laughs> so and, uh, and I'm like, oh, this email comes in, and it's, hi, I don't know if uh, this might sound really weird, but my name is Dave Sharstein, and I'm a recovering lawyer, and blah, blah, blah. He tells me his story, and I'm like, oh, okay, buddy, let's hold on. Let me, let's just have a beer when I get back, and let's, let's see, you know, see what, see what we can do. And we hit it off. He's really, really great. He has a lot of, uh, he's skilled in areas that I, I am not as much. Like, he's like definitely, lawyering. Like lawyering, <laughs> month, <laughs> reading through the finer print details, analyzing <laughs> things to a degree that I just don't really have that much interest to. I, and I... Definitely have to like have someone like that on the yeah, team. Yeah, no, there's I a mean, great yin and yang going on with that for sure. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of the recipe formulations and kind of what happens on the back of the brew house and the experience on the brewery side is me. A lot of the stuff of logistics and kind of making sure that we have money to keep going and, and you know things are being directed to the right place. We're saving it where we can and, and making sure the place stays afloat uh, is him. And he does he does get dirty. He gets on the truck uh, and delivers the beer personally. He gets uh, his hands week. dirty. That's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was getting more dirty with me in the in the in the brew house for a while, <laughs> uh, but then he realized it, you know it's hot, sweaty work. You got to really <laughs> yeah. love this work to be in it. I yeah, mean, really. The did. glory is only at the taps, like, but it's a lot of cleaning on the backside. We've and noticed that over the years that. we've been doing this. It's like, you, do you really want to be a brewer? Do you know what's right. involved? It's like ten percent reward, ninety percent the labor-intensive yeah. nonsense. It's yeah. crazy. There's that great meme out of, out there that uh, everybody wants to do, be a brewer until they start doing brewing shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this guy underneath the sweat. Ten percent brewing, ninety percent cleaning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so, you guys came together, made this happen. Uh, how long has it been going on? And and. What, what do you think the, uh, the, the future looks like? So I the came back. Uh, nobody knows the future, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, so what so the bartender says, yeah. we don't serve future kind around here. Yeah. This guy walks into a bar, says, hey, I'm from the future. <laughs> 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 it doesn't go off on the AR air either. Mary hates this joke. Well, anyway, I, whatever. I, I, okay, whatever. <laughs> 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 so that, that was... 
I met Dave in uh, January of 2015. He wrote me in uh, late December of 2014. We met, uh, and I brought Mary to that meeting, and and that she kind of vetted, and she's like, you know, I had I had a couple different offers on the table, things that I was thinking about doing, but it, it felt right with Dave. Everything seemed seemed great, and one of the great advantages of of it, of Dave coming from not from a from a completely different industry, is that it would have been 100% based on our reputations rather mm. than somebody who'd already been in the same thing. So it was like starting from scratch with yeah. all the reputations that I and Mary had uh, in the brewing scene. So that was, that was, that made a lot of sense. And, uh, we in pretty much immediately like, the day after meeting him, or th- like within like a week, we had a partnership agreement signed and we were, we were wow. starting to, starting to look at places. Uh, uh it was kind of like me and Dave Sharfstein were love at first sight kind of when, when quick. it came to that. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, it, but it, there were so many things that make sense and that still, Right. to this day so that we started looking at places and it took about a year and a half to get to we find where we finally found this place mm-hmm. uh, we've had seven failed leases um, <laughs> Jesus Christ um, we're very glad they were th- yes. th- I mean it was heartbreaking at the time had a lot of places that we fell in love with and but that never kind of panned out uh, but this one is absolutely the best fit for us um, nice. and we love Long Island City and have always like Mary my favorite date days we live in Williamsburg we would walk over the bridge and just do this Long Island City beer trail nice before there were as many as there even are now and, so and you got to do uh, fooders in here so fooders yes yeah. so that's that's been a long time dream since we started like it was, uh, Dave knows this too like if we were opening like I want to have fooders I want to get I want to do a decent wood program because it's of all my brewing experience I haven't had that much experience brewing primaries in in wood and the wonders of wood I haven't had a lot of uh, uh, ability to uh, is not space like wood takes space yeah and, I mean, it did a and huge it's not so. and it takes a long time to ferment in them or, or like depending on what you're doing or do the sours like it takes a longer time right. so your turnover rate needs to be in that stainless steel and controlled and, and i have a lot of experience in that but uh, so finally a year and a half so a year and a half until we signed the lease and then it took about a year to uh, a little bit over a year to open up we finally opened up in september late september of 2017 and now it is a year and a half after that and we finally got oh. the fooders that i was looking for yeah. here they are and you already got a brew going in there, I guess he's on. And yeah, we're doing a farmhouse ale in that, nice. a French farmhouse. Um, wanted to do, and I want to, probably after that, we'll, we might do some fooder lagering, some, some wood age lagering. Um, uh. I'm starting with this farmhouse because I think the wood, it, it's fresh. It's virgin oak. It hasn't been used yet. So these tannins and the, and the wood's going to be really strong and whatever yep. it is. So if I do too light of a beer or without enough to dance with it, it, it might be, be off balance. Yeah. Right. So I want to do this first one and be in, in kind of a little safe zone to, to make sure that it's going to complement the beer in the right sense, way yeah. and do it. The second one we're filling later this week, and that's going to be a completely mixed fermentation thing uh, where we have a, the amalgamation Brettanomyces yeast uh, mm. blended with, uh, with a Belgian wit yeast, which is bringing out a lot of fruit characters on a different beer we have. So we're basically harvesting that yeast, throwing it right in, and on top of the wood with our kettle sour base, which is the base for the palate pigment series oh, that we Jesus. have here. So we're good, yeah we're kind of going wild. I was going to say evil scientist <laughs> type <laughs> shit. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah we're gonna jump start it with a kettle sour. So yeah. like it'll probably have a pH of like three point three. Okay. And uh, and be sour and just like wild fermentation with the Brett and the Mices. And then at the end of that we'll decide what we want to do with it. We'll have basically thirty barrels worth of this funky stuff. And uh, much like our palate pigment series, we will decide at that point whether we're gonna take a full fifteen barrels and blend with some certain fruits, or whether we do a bunch of different five barrel. Uh, batches right, yeah, yeah. of that uh. of that base beer, and whether or not if we if we really dig it, then I might leave a little bit in it and then just pitch or just brew on top of that ah, and maybe yeah. start a kind of a Solera uh, sour base. So these are all kind of in the air and I'm kind of rolling <laughs> with it. And well, see and what happens, right? I mean, imagine I'm a saxophonist improviser <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> forever, forevermore. Um, what's what do you think the next stage is for the brewery? Uh, we're looking for more. Uh, equipment or more space, or what do you what do you see as the future moving forward? I know you can't see it, but what, what would you like can to you have? Can you hear the future? <laughs> you can, can hear. Uh, <laughs> it's called reflections, early we, reflections. Yeah, you know, our we only have so much time on this lease, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to renew that lease. And but you know, if we don't have a guarantee of being able to renew that, then we'll, we might be looking for, uh, you know. A smooth transition and be looking for somewhere for that after that. That's gonna like, be you know, tough earlier though, than like the end because it took, like I said, a year and a half to, to kind of open, a year and a half to find a place. And, yeah. And uh, there's no guarantee. And I think that was kind of 
good for, or like kind of yes. the average for breweries yes. uh, in New York City. It's such a challenge and a pill battle. Yeah. Although second time theoretically should be easier, but <laughs> no, nope. you know, yeah, never. Yeah. There are different problems yeah. we'll have on the second project as we do the first. Um, as far as like what we want to happen, we're still working out our home base, and uh, you know I think that the people will dictate what kind of what, and the market will dictate what what's the right what the right thing to do is. Yeah. What we're seeing a lot right now about just the status of beer in general, we're not at the saturation point in our city, nope. but uh, by way of like physical breweries for tap rooms, but there is a saturation ish point for shelves. Like we're in New York City, so the competition on the shelves and being a regional brewery trying to sell in New York City is more challenging than That's it correct, once was. Yeah. However, easier for us as locals, like when you talk to the distributors, they're getting a little bit more step back because people are starting to change shift their their mind frame into into drinking more locally locally or, or paying more attention to local stuff i Except think that's that one of the big things you got a crowd that started at 12 o'clock and it hasn't really died down since yeah. and in, in 99 degree weather yeah <laughs> right i mean it's amazing i'm very very happy we got those fans I'll yeah it's <laughs> absolutely um, uh tell us about those fans by the way they look like yeah. jet propulsion well, that's joe big that's jim fans. that's yeah. billy yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's lucy and lisa <laughs> oh oh those ones oh those oh, are yeah. on the ceiling and those are 12 foot fans basically when when big ass fans started uh they started a pair, this is this is all hearsay so I, I know don't take this as absolute truth this is just the story that somebody told me that i that i believe and choose to believe uh, there are two main competitors for big fans. One of them is big ass fans. One's Micro Air. Supposedly they started together. Uh, one was the engineer, and one was the uh, one was the sales uh, guy. The sales guy yeah. and marketer. You guess which of one of those two <laughs> that is. And uh, and we got the, the cheaper of the two. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it works great. Just yeah, they produce yeah. a hell of a lot of wind down yeah. in there. And yeah. and between that and the air coming in, and it's a great vibe. But we've been talking about. Uh, Matt about uh, all the stuff that's been going on throughout the day, the people walking by, the food truck, the, uh, the yeah. local people that come through. You have a, a really great established place here in the neighborhood. So and within the, you know, two, three square miles of the LIC Brew Trail, you're right in the midst of all yeah, of man. it. It's got to be really exciting. To it is really exciting. This. And when you talk about what we are and what we see for the future, one thing we don't ever, ever want to lose is this sense of community. Right. And uh, that, you know, our, our whole saying is beer is people. And it really is like from the people who make it, from the people who farm it, the stuff that we use to, to, the, to the consumers that drink it and to, to you guys for helping support it. Like yeah. it's, all, it's all this. This is a relationship business and it's all about, yes. it's all about this interactiveness. And I, we want to make beers that are good enough to be the conversation but don't always demand being the conversation right mm. you know i agree with that uh and with that we want to really thank you for yes, hosting so us for hosting and us. Uh, i know yeah, you haven't been, been here most of the time matt's been really matt's been on terrific. point i'll tell you i mean unbelievable uh we've been trying to get him networked into somebody to get him to be a movie star that he deserves hey, to be you deserve <laughs> it. You he's go. gonna have to start hitting the gym and laying off the yards beards <laughs> 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 but we'll get it we'll, we'll find a way to get him back on air um but the space the the uh you know, hospitality, everything's been awesome. So thank, thank you guys. Man. No, thank being. you very much. And hopefully uh, a lot more people uh, get turned on from where we are out on Long Island. Cause for us, it was like a 40 minute drive. Yeah. It was no big deal. And we have, trip. we've had other trips that have been big deals and <laughs> it seemed like it's closer on the map, but it's certainly not. not. This was no big deal. So I, I have everyone out, out there that, uh, you know, listens to us and, and Nick's from Queens. So he knows very easy. Uh, I think one of the other guys have been here quite some time. Um, you know they they know the the concept of wanting to try new things and i think your tap list and your menu and the stuff that you have the wit that i had today just blew me Terrific. away something i would i would come in here for right on had i have no kids if i had no <laughs> kids i'd been here every day but yep. if i with that said i will be back here to get some more stuff we'll and, be making um, a lot make more day. stuff we I are know. promiscuous drinkers and therefore promiscuous brewers <laughs> <laughs> i like that 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 should be on the label that by the way <laughs> <laughs> Anything to add, Matt, before we get out of here? Oh, no, man. I, I, again, I just appreciate you guys coming. No, down. no, no. Thank you. Thank it's you. it's all one way here, by the way. It's it's us appreciating you guys for hosting us. It's been a great time. Uh, so we're with Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com. Check us out on our replays. We're on iTunes. We're on Spotify. We're on the Hopped Up Network. We're on Laughable. Uh, we're on uh, Rotation on GovsRadio.com. Check us our video out. It's going to be on Facebook. It's going to be on YouTube. It, all the links are in Instagram. We have posted a bunch of stuff that all the beer swipers and black and tan put up. So we'll throw that up on our um, Instagram stories and stuff like that. And, and you can get a good vibe for what the place is. Everyone's been filming all day and, and checking it all out. So, uh, again, thanks very much. Yeah. Everything's been awesome. Thank you, man. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. All right. This is the word with Mike and Pete, GovsRadio.com. Uh, we guys will see you soon. <laughs> have a good one. Later. 
Well, that's two hours of your life that you'll never get back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Please hang up and try again. Works on Govs Radio. I hope you're drunk enough. <laughs>